Welcome back, everybody, to the H3 Podcast Live. Uh, this episode is sponsored by Movement, Quip, Wink, and Elder Scrolls Legends. A little bit of a... It's a nice lineup, It's a nice sponsor. Yeah. I'm a big uh, Elder Beth- Scrolls guy. Hell yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. When Bethesda reached out, I was like, what up, pimps? <laughs> yeah. Talk to me. Talk to me. <laughs> Uh, just a reminder, we are crushing it on Spotify, which the podcast is now up on. We're number one there, so keep slamming Ooh. there. We are also up on SoundCloud now. We had a lot of requests to get the podcast up there. What so up? we are on Spotify. We're on SoundCloud. Peep that shit. Peep that. Introducing our guest. Listen, he's my f- he's frankly my favorite guest on this podcast. I think this is your third time on. It's a joy. It's a privilege. Post Malone. Hello. Thanks, Thanks for guys. coming. Thanks for coming. Thanks, Appreciate guys. you. Thanks for having me um, again. Oh yeah, dude. Thank you for it's coming. It's a pleasure to have you here. So how you? I mean, how, I haven't seen you in a little bit. You've been on tour, right? Your fall tour. Let me get that lighter. Oh yeah. Let's crack. No, I've just, I haven't. I haven't been on tour. I've just been well, you got, traveling you, the world and really? drinking, slamming Cheers, beers. By the way, <laughs> it's all the shows are just Cheers. shows are just a Cheers. part two. Mm. I like to consider it a journey. Nice. So the travel is first. The shows are incidental. Yeah, the shows. The shows just happen. You happen to be (laughs) in Italy, and you're like, huh? (laughs) Let's do a show. Yeah, let's do it. The shows come last. I'm just there. I like that. I like that thought. (laughs) No, but I've been. um, Yeah, I've been traveling a lot and getting shit done, and (sighs) it's tiring. But I always think that touring looks so exhausting. It is. I look like shit. No, you look amazing. No, yeah. You're yeah. killing it, bro. I love that you just the, the great thing is that you just embrace you're authentic, dude. You're who you are. Like yeah. you just fucking you're you're killing it, bro. Just a guy. <laughs> exactly. Just, just a guy with beautiful blue eyes. Right. <laughs> All right. Well then I guess that means you are more than just a guy, to be just honest. Because I didn't even have that. I'm really mm-hmm. just a guy. Your, your eyes look like hamburgers. <laughs> wow. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I guess I I'm not just a guy. <laughs> You're more than just a guy. I'm just a guy with a couple hamburgers in his eyes. It's beautiful. <laughs> I couldn't have put it any better. Since then, you've been, uh, just a little recap here, but rock star. Mm-hmm. Number one on billboards. Is it, it's still number one, right? Mm-hmm. Fuck me. It's been I up there so. for like, like two months now. Not for long. My mom has been texting me every time it's playing in Israel. <laughs> really? Oh, Cause, they play cause it? she met you here in the when you mm-hmm. were here last time, so she's excited. Oh, yeah. Like, she's I know here. <laughs> yeah. You met, dude, you're big with the moms. You met with my mom, too. I'm a mom guy. Yeah, I love you, moms. I could tell you're hit with moms. Moms love me. You got good Dads etiquette. love me. I'm, I was super cool. <laughs> every time I go to a friend's house, they'd always say, like, Where's your mom, dude? What a guy. No, that's not. <laughs> Introduce me Where's to your mom? mom? Leave <laughs> I don't care about you. Let me meet your mom. You're like, yo, nice to see you, man. Uh, is your mom here? Uh, mom? By the way, I haven't had a cigarette since the last time we hung out, but I love our tradition of just... Why are you trying to stop? No, I d- I'm, I'm just not a smoker, but I like to get weird and wild, you know, when in you, Rome. You don't have, like, a douche flute or a mouth fedora? You got a big one. A douche flute? What is yeah, it's that? a vape. I've never oh. heard it called a douche flute. <laughs> this is what my friend Andrew calls it. Calls it it's... First of all, I resent the implication. Fedora. A mouth fedora is fucking hot. What would you call the giant vape? I don't know. I don't know. It's like, like a. a uh, it's got a, the cannon has to be the the next a douche word. Cannon. <laughs> What's the first word? It's got to have more of an alliteration or rhyming. Not really, because mouth fedora is kind of just. I'm gonna have to think on that. Yeah. It's a, It's like a fucking douche pack. It's a full experience. <laughs> what you should have done was build it as a backpack. And yeah, had, well, it, had it like a camel back and have it come. It was a backpack. <laughs> really? It had a whole back harness. <laughs> that thing, I don't know if I talked about it yet, was so fucking heavy. Did we it talk about so this? so heavy. When we first got out on the street, we had this prop company build it. And then we went out to Hollywood to film. Mm-hmm. And the moment I put it on, I swear to God, it's like 80 pounds. And the moment I put it on, I was like, oh, my fucking God. How mm-hmm. am I going to make it through this day? I saw Dan coming up the escalator to meet us, and he was, like, holding it. And I was like, mm-hmm. what is this guy make, fucking exaggerating how heavy this thing is? <laughs> I put it on. I was like, I don't know how I'm going to get through this day. After five minutes, the strap broke. <laughs> <laughs> the harness just completely buckled <laughs> under its weight. It was a pretty dramatic day. It's yeah. nice. 
We had to go to like. <laughs> it was the hottest day in LA in a while, and Ethan was wearing like the long the track Gucci. suit. Yeah, you look great. <laughs> I feel that. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. <laughs> I kept that, by the way. You should treat yourself. Yeah, I kept that. Queen. I'm, I'm waiting. <laughs> I'm hoping. <laughs> Honestly, I can't wait for us to go to Vegas. I want to go, and I'm gonna wear that now that I have Gucci. because yeah. you always show me up. So yeah, I think I think Vegas is like my escape from the norm because I get to wear fun stuff. Mm. Yeah, you do every time. Well, now I got some. <laughs> I'm gonna buy a matching suit, and we're gonna be matching. You guys should. If we ever have like That'd a, be cute. a red carpet <laughs> event, we'll go wearing matching Gucci tracksuits. That'd be super cute. You guys are. That's how we do it, dude. You guys are killing it. I'm so happy. You're killing it. Did I tell? You, <laughs> speaking of Vegas, did I tell you that story about when I won like 95 grand? No. Is this is a new story. I think tell I haven't told it. you what? this. No. Okay, so I was in Vegas. This is like a nice anecdote. I love no. that. Bring yeah. it, baby. <laughs> this is a nice anecdote. Oh, it is. So. Okay. I thought you were saying it's not. <laughs> No, yeah, it is. It is. It's a, this okay. is a great one. A nice anecdote from Vegas. Those are rare. Yeah, yeah. No, but it's not nice. I mean, but it's a great story. Okay. It's a nice story, but it's not nice. All right, I'm, I'm because I'm it just shows up. shows the ignorance of of me. Oh no, you lost it all. You okay? So here's you. the deal. So I go with like Jesus. I usually, you know, I usually go with like fifteen grand, ready to go cash, mm-hmm. ready to play, and so I I we were playing blackjack. My mom was there, and. um I think she was there. <laughs> was she there. I don't know if she was there. Maybe not. Okay, so I sat down at this blackjack table, right? I had $14,000. I played it all up and down, whatever. But along the way, I gave some money to Jason. You know Jason, my friend. Um, he lives with me. Yeah. He's the, your, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And um, I gave him 100 bucks. He lost that hand. And then I gave him another 100 and he started winning. And at that time, I was still playing my, like, 14 grand. Right. And um, so up and down, I lost it all. I say, Jason, give me 100 bucks. <laughs> and then I lose, your bets. I, I lose that. Exactly. I got to I gotta get a return on my investment. <laughs> and then um, I lose that. I tell him, give me another 100 bucks. And I, of that $100, I sat at the table for 14 hours. No play, no I had, like, 50 screwdrivers. Worked my way up from one hundred dollars to ninety five thousand no dollars. So, and I said, what? "Okay, as soon as I get two hundred thousand, I'm walking away." Gambler's fallacy. I'm walking away at a hundred thousand. Ninety five. I was five thousand. What did that even look like? It, it was 000? crazy. They had like five thousand dollar chips, so I just had oh. a shitload of those. Interestingly, the more money you have on the table, the less chips it looks like you have. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. But it becomes like this cool color. Yeah, yeah. They so, no, yeah they very. They were like they British glowing. colors, and I started singing the British national anthem for what I know. <laughs> Got like LED lights in it. Yeah, it was, it was, yeah, they were crazy. So, uh, I ninety five thousand. Okay, I'm gonna play till a hundred thousand. Went down to five thousand dollars, and then I went all the way back up to ninety five thousand dollars. Not how long did that take? Fourteen hours. I didn't Ugh. get up. I did not move. I was just drinking. And every time I would win, because I was playing like ten thousand dollar hands, and then doubling. Was down. there a crowd? Yeah, it was big. It was a big time. Were oh you in the high God. roller section? No. Normal. Okay, so I, you were out. High roller the, is a scam. You have to play. I don't like it there. I at agree. the normal. I don't like it there. Um, the max bet was like, was 10000 Yeah. You and, know what? The high roller's place is it's just sad. Mm-hmm. It's like depressing. Oh, it, it is depressing. There's nobody it's there. Really There's depressing. all these gambling yeah. addicts who come and like lose their fucking son's yeah, bar mitzvah money. They yeah, come with like $10,000 and lose it in like two minutes. Yeah. No, it's and crazy. And then they leave. They're like, all right, I'm going to go fuck a prostitute. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. But yeah, I mean, I won that, lost the 95 again playing big, and uh, that's my story. Oh my wow. god! So but it, but it was it was really a rush. Every time I would win like a hand, I would literally take run up and take a lap around the casino. <laughs> it was the most intense thing of my life, and it was a lot of fun. It sounds like no regrets there. Yeah, I mean, you how did you feel? Ninety thousand twice. Yeah, twice, <laughs> two times, two <laughs> times, and I didn't get that extra five just to get a hundred and walk away. So how did you? Could you feel? imagine turning a hundred bucks into hundred thousand dollars and no. walking away, walking away with a hundred grand cash? You would have been up on that casino. Yeah. A lifetime. Yeah. They would be following you back and like. Yeah, they were, they it, it, they yeah it was they had like there were security gate like four security guards. They'd be like knocking at your door like hello this hello. is the pit boss <laughs> right. just want to let you know we're still open. Yeah, we <laughs> gotta come back. Come on. How back. did you feel walking away? Were you like? Oh, it upset, was, or were you like that was a fun experience? Upset. It was very. I was upset, <laughs> but now I look back and I said, "Hey, that's pretty cool." Anyways, it's a, it's cool a great story, story. a great yeah. anecdote, great anecdote. <laughs> Thanks for sharing that. Hey, you're welcome. 
appreciate that. <laughs> um, dude, I'm so sore. I feel like I, we started, we got a personal trainers. Okay. I'm we on both football loss. started okay. exercising. I can't do it. You look great. Oh, thanks, Doug. I appreciate that. He's only done one exercise so far. <laughs> Thanks so much. Twice. <laughs> twice. Oh, you did too? Yeah. Okay. When is it? Every day? I do it no. twice a week. I've done it twice. I, I do it twice a week. It's the thing. I've done it one week. <laughs> but anyway, I'm so sore, I cannot even stand up. I like this thing of like, we're going to get you more muscular. I Meanwhile, right. you're like, I can't fuck it. I feel like I'm 90. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm getting serious. Yeah, yeah. After a show, I I need to do like the uh, like stretches because it might uh, like these things, these groin things, right? Like the little like tendons, right? That's my worst spot because you do a lot of like kneeling and shit. Yeah, hmm. it's good exercise. It is. Yeah, I mean, I'm surprised. I mean, I'm still a thick boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. But I mean, thick boy for life. Never like. <laughs> I feel old. Yeah, I well, feel old. Well, you're busy. You work a lot. I haven't lately. I've just been playing Call of Duty. God, <laughs> mm-hmm. you need to get on it. Yeah, I was talking to you about that. I've never, <laughs> I've never played. COD. I've never played Battlefield or COD or any of those console. COD is fun. This one is fun. I've been seeing. I was thinking about buying it. and I saw mixed reviews. I'm it's a, fun. I'm a review bitch. Well, see, the reviews you probably were reading was like very glitchy, mm-hmm. right? Right. A lot of them were like, "It's not worth a buy yet." Oh, it is now. Really? Yeah. We should play together. Yeah. I, don't I know have why. a free I have a copy. I should have brought it to you. You I'll, know what's the it. real hit right now? The real big game right now. Geometry Awards. Oh shit. Have yeah. you played that? I played like the first one. Dude, that was our You game. have? Yeah. So there's evolved Ge- Geometry Wars. <laughs> it's, <laughs> evolved. it's evolved. How much yeah. has it evolved? Well, like, okay, in the first one it's just a flat plane and all these crazy waves, right? Okay. Remember that? Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, so now that it's been evolved and it has a three, so it's to the third it's like power. Like three D. Wow. There's like uh, freaking trapezoids and pills. You're all and globes. It's is, it, is it skewed? It yeah. does get yes. skewed. And, there's skews. Yeah. There's planes. Damn. Dimensions. <laughs> Sounds very. It's very really intense. We had a friend over. I think we must have played it for like ten hours yeah. straight. Really? Yeah. Really? <laughs> yes. Really. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> but I want to play like, COD with I you. I feel like Geometry Wars is like max 20-minute game. So you're not playing you're, it right. You're, like, you're not okay, playing it right. Okay, so it's like Peggle. No, but we played Peggle's Peggle. Peggle's a 20-hour <laughs> game. We, we played, we played Peggle. Peggle we game. played Peggle's for a long time. <laughs> so we should play COD or, I don't know, I want to play PUBG with you, but I just, I wanna, I'm so I wanna, over that game. I want it's the thing that really pisses me off is I always get killed by some fucking hacker. Really? Every time. How do you know they're hacking? Because they shoot me through uh, through a wall. I always land at George Paul, and I'll be inside of the inside of the crate, and they'll shoot me through the crate. That's bullshit. It's bullshit. Well, there's no penetration. One time in that I was game. playing. Yeah, there's no penetration Mm-mm. in that. One time I was playing, and I dropped from the sky, and none of the buildings rendered. And I could see through all the walls, and yeah, I could walk through walls. That's pretty good. <laughs> so I, so I, this. Did you I, win? So, so I was. In, I should have, right? You would expect that. I would have. So I'm like, I'm walking through walls. I can see everyone. I'm picking everything up. I've got the best gear. I'm capping people through walls and shit. This is a, just a glitch. I saw it. There was. Eli needed to witness that. There was so like I, just no walls in the game. Hey, that's pretty. So good. there's like a dude out in the fucking tree, and I'm capping him through a, like a ten. You know, walls. And Did he, you see through trees? Everything. Nothing existed. Uh, no, I couldn't see through trees. But I see him like... Old building. <laughs> you know, trying to find where I am. And I'm just like, this fucking loser. I lost. I managed to lose. <laughs> I still managed. Yeah, so like, there's a guy right here through, like, two walls, and I'm trying to shoot him, and he's like... <laughs> and he rounds the corner, and I walk through the wall, and he's like, oh... Oh, here he is. One shot and I'm dead. I'm like, God, yeah. fucking It's a frustrating <laughs> game. I love the game. Well, it's my frustrating. frustration comes from legitimate kills. Because yeah. I never know where I'm being shot from. Yeah. I guess the answer was hackers the whole time. <laughs> Anytime I lose a game, it's because of hackers. Yeah. yeah, of course. I mean, like, reasons why you actually lose is like 1% and fucking bullshit is 99%. Hackers. <laughs> it's like a pie chart. Have you seen that pie chart? Yes, it's I live that pie chart. <laughs> that is the fucking realest pie chart. Right. We should play some though. You think we COD? Should. I think COD. Okay. I'm already played. like third prestige. That sounds very 
prestigious. <laughs> it is very prestigious. They have yeah. a prestige overlook where you can hang out with all your <laughs> rich friends. Let's do that. Um, I'd love to do that. Yeah. It's nice. It's I good. S- Ethan, I wouldn't lead you wrong. I want to play. <laughs> I want to play. I want to fucking play. Let's wrap it up. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. Let's get out of here. I saw you the other day. You were on Martha and Snoop. Yeah. How long yeah, ago we did you guys shoot it. that? I have so many questions about it. Because I, we, me and Ela are, well, I don't, we're thinking a lot about how shows are made. Right. I'm not going to say why. Oh, I wonder why. I'm just why. saying that <laughs> I'm watching a lot of shows <laughs> and I'm wondering how, how people make it, okay? Right. <laughs> first, my first question is, how long ago was that shot? I want to say, a, it was a long time ago. Okay. Months. Okay. Almost Months. Half, maybe half a year, maybe. Mm. Wow. Maybe <laughs> five months, yeah. And so my next question is, when you're there, it's when they, like, do the audience reaction, it sounds like there's, like, a whole stadium of people there. There is a lot of people there. There is a lot. There okay. is. Yeah. Um, there was a lot of people there. Okay. I wouldn't say a whole stadium. Yeah. But it was nice because everybody, you know, did you get to see the audience? Yes. Yeah. They're at, like, they're a like, dinner they're table. Like, yeah, it's nice. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Did they cook? Did they actually cook their own food and yeah. wait? Mm-hmm. So Snoop made that fish and he mm-hmm. cooked. It's pretty good. Because they cut out. Because they were like, all right, Snoop's going to make this fish and put it in the oven. And then, oh, my God, it's done immediately. So you were hanging out that whole time? Right. Well, it was more like a, uh, I'd say more like a cooking show. You know how, like, they show you how to make it. Okay. And then the yeah. one already made. Right. And, okay. then, and then, so then they yeah. cook the one that they already made that's exactly the same yeah. as the. Got it. Yeah. So that was pre or like pre-prepped. I would yeah. say so. I yeah. don't know. Yeah, okay. But it was it was delightful. It was a treat. It was a real treat <laughs> being on the show. Yeah, you met man. Wendy. How was yeah. that? Wendy was super cool. She was super <laughs> cool, super sweet. Martha was super sweet. Um, she liked my car, the old lady. I saw yeah. she was talking about that. You give her a spin? Make a pass? Did you she stop took, short she with her? She took a pick. <laughs> Take it, what, the mom? And the you mom stopped short with her? <laughs> From Seinfeld. You stopped short with my wife? Is, oh, is that like whenever? That's the mom arm. Yeah, it's a well in Seinfeld. It's a dad it's arm. It's like a boob oh, grab. Okay. It's oh, okay. Like, oh, boob grab. It's a way of, <laughs> yeah, it's a way of flirting. <laughs> Very relevant with today's uh, conversation about sex yeah. arrest. So but, what, is, <laughs> what does that mean about my mom? Was my mom trying to get fresh with me? No. Well, I thought it was Martha. <laughs> no, I mean You're in my saying. life, that's what no, my mom would always you. do. She's my to mom. Take care of you. Oh, I thought yeah. my mom was trying to get a handful of these titties. <laughs> <laughs> In Seinfeld, it's like you have a hot date, and then you see a red light, and then you act like you don't see it, and then you slam on the brake. Like, stop short, and you put your hand out to hold okay, it, but yeah, you pop see, like feel. Okay, it's the same. It's the same concept, except without the uh, naughtiness, right, right. the naughty aspect. And in short, you could have just stopped short with Martha. Well, she was driving. Oh, maybe she could stop she short with you. Stop short with Everyone this. wants a cup of feel them <laughs> titty bite. Everyone wants a big handful of these jubblies. Next, I mean, I've I just got, I got some stuff. I saw you were in uh, Ghost Hunters. Yeah, Ghost Adventures. Ghost, Ghost Adventures. Yeah, <laughs> it's awesome. How it's did crazy. that go? Was it really spooky? It was crazy. It was crazy. They're going to be here. We should uh, do like a online special. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'd love because to. Because we went to that place, and it was pretty <laughs> Spooky. We heard that voice, but this, they, like the things that they get into, is really crazy, and they uh-huh. have all the equipment and stuff. Like, yeah, That's I'm cool. sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, that guy's the real deal. Yeah. I was surprised, but how's it, how's the show called? Ghost Adventures. Ghost Adventures. It's on History Channel, right? Travel. Travel. Mm-hmm. It's the number one show on Travel. Channel. On Travel, mm-hmm. and it's on like the thirtieth season or some it's shit. It's like what? seventeen now. That guy's Whoa. been. I mean, how many? Is there that many ghosts? Well, I, I've been watching the show since I was twelve. Wow. Yeah. And now since you're was, on. Yeah, that's since pretty I was a crazy. Kid, yeah. Is that one of the most <laughs> surreal experiences? It was crazy. You've had? It, yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> like getting getting to meet Zach, and he's such a good guy, and. Mm. You know, he lives in Vegas, so we always mm. gamble and have fun. And That's cool. And um, it was super cool. I used to ask my mom to stay up late <laughs> to watch the show. <laughs> That's so adorable. And then I get to go on it, and it was super That's cool. That's pretty cool. Is that <laughs> one of the most surreal, like, celebrity? Because now you've met so many cool people. What are what are the, some of the most surreal, like, celebrity encounters you've had where you're like, I cannot believe I'm hanging out with this guy? Just a lot of stuff from my childhood. You know what I mean? Like, um, um, 
I got to hang out with the guys from a band called Escape the Fate mm-hmm. that I used to listen to mm-hmm. all the time in high school and stuff, and meeting them was super sick. Um, like Chris Drew from Never Shout Never. I don't know if y'all know them, but I used to listen to him all the time, and mm-hmm. um, I just, like, started talking to him, like, <clears throat> hitting him up, and, you know, he said hi. And also, <laughs> one time, I DM'd the guy from Fleet Foxes, Robin Pecknold, and that's my favorite band of all time, and he responded back. And Got <laughs> him. And was, and so yes. most of it is not even in real life. It's all just... <laughs> that's pretty just, cool. It's all just virtual. Twitter DMs. I think the most yeah. surreal experience, well, that's, you know, getting a little DM back is meaningful. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. The most surreal one I've had probably is with Steve-O. Yeah. Like having Steve-O, because before we shot that video with him, he came over to our house and we were in our living room, like shooting the shit about YouTube pranksters and stuff. Right. And I was, it was just so fucking surreal because <laughs> I grew up watching Jack, like we all did, right? Mm-hmm. Steve-O's a legend, right. and he's sitting in my living room when we're talking shit about, like, Vitaly, making fun of this guy. And I was just, like, so <laughs> outside myself, being like, this is so weird. Right. Like, hanging out with steve Right, yeah. It's like you don't even know, what to, you have to stop and say, fuck. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't want to be weird, but it's just like, what even is my life right now? <laughs> Man. All right, so, so. keeps hitting me up, too. <laughs> oh. So we need to do this video quick. We our need to get our it fans in. are always asking about it. We need to do this. It's I mean, been too long. Rockstar's been number one for a minute. <laughs> wait till we exactly. Uh, wait till so exactly. cool, like Antonio hits no, the waves. No, I think it'll hit number one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about Billboard, but on like somewhere. Apple Me, yeah, it'll hit we'll get one. number one somewhere. Yeah, if not on Apple, in my heart. <laughs> it's number one in my heart. That's the that's the chart that makes that that, ma- that makes a difference. Yeah. All right, so. Um, I got so much stuff that I want to get to today. We have so many videos and stories and scoops to watch. We're gonna have so much fun here today. Let's go. Do you um, want to do that ad break and then get into it? Well, let me sh- let's start with this first story because I. Yeah, I'll start with this first one. You remember Patrice okay. Wilson? Oh, yeah. God. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. I'm glad. Okay. Because I got a weird one. Okay. The weirdest one. <laughs> the weirdest one. This shit creeped me out. It's gotta be <laughs> fucking pretty weird. I think you and everyone watching is going to be shocked. Okay. I'm sitting. <laughs> yeah, don't stand. I need a cigarette. This shit okay, legitimately this freaked me out. Okay. Oh, my God. Yeah, I, I don't know what to think of this. No, because... So the guy... I need, to, I need to light this up. I'm not overselling this, you guys. I swear to God. Okay. Yeah, let's go. I need to fucking have a sip of this beer here. I need to settle my nerves. So Patrice Wilson... For those of you who don't know, he makes like he made four, Friday. He made Friday. He made all these videos with this little blonde girl, Allison Gold. Mm-hmm. Very pedo, weird, creepy vibes in all of them. Um, we made a lot of videos making fun of him a long time ago. So recently, just a couple of days ago, he erased all the videos on his channel, and he all he has now is a live stream. A one li- live stream. One live stream with a countdown. I'm gonna sh- I'm gonna pull it up right now. <laughs> Hang on one sec. Um, but hold on, it gets weirder now. What's he counting down to? That's the question here. Patrice Wilson. I don't know why I don't have this link. You this don't have is, the link? This is so inappropriate of me. Here, hold on one sec. You have it? I can get it. The, oh, yeah, here it is. Oh, he changed the fucking... Yeah, here it is. Okay. All right, so here is it. He erased all of his videos. He changed the logo of his channel to the shadowy, creepy icon. Okay. It's him in a hood. Oh. And H3, look at the title. H3. It's counting down till December 1st. That's 319 hours. <laughs> and look at this cryptic shit. It just says, it's like a bunch of gibberish, and then at the end it says dash H3H3. H3. <laughs> what do you think? What I is don't this? know. That's weird, man. <laughs> the weirdest part is like this <laughs> shadowy icon. The hood. Man. He looks like player unknown. Like, how do I get a better look at that? Or like a and ring they wraith. They don't really let you. Yeah, he's a ring wraith, and I don't know what this is. He like blocked out the eyes. That's a video we've made. Oh yeah, right. Okay, yeah. What what video is that? That's from the uh, Alice and ABC, Gold ABC. ABC. Yeah. That's a great song. That's number one in my What's heart. What's the Chinese currently. food song? 
Chinese food. I like yeah. Chinese food. I like Chinese food. food. And, and some uh, wonton soup. That's when that's he dressed like up like a panda and was <laughs> cuddling her that's, and that's tickling her. <laughs> so, like, what do... There's a hundred people watching this right now. It's a very entertaining stream. <laughs> um, by the way, Damn. shout out to our new video, which is currently in the sidebar. Educational videos. Hey. Got him. Got him. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. I need... I, I need to log into my YouTube. Catch up. It was from yesterday. I won't hold it against you. But uh, should I be concerned about this? Why did it Whoa, just change? It changed. <gasps> He's what? watching you eat it. It just changed. What if it says something? What if it says something? Just wait until something else comes up. It was black until I'm freaked now. out. <laughs> Somebody says maybe it was hacked, but I don't know. He seems like a pretty tech-savvy guy. Okay. And so oh. somebody manually just <laughs> changed that. <laughs> What was that? But how could he react that fast? How... Oh. Wait, it's just cycling between them. Is it, though? Yeah. Oh, oh God. It, I'm one. scared. What is that creepy fucking screen? Dude, I have chills right now. <laughs> that screen is so creepy. It's like a CD screen, like a screen with, like, guck in it. He was just moving behind it. No, it's not a screen. It's no! A Oh, he's coming No! Out. It was just on the other side! <laughs> no! Is that this... is a lo- that is Wait, a real that's curtain. a real curtain? I'm done. I thought Dude, was... I have to, you have to turn this <laughs> off. I thought that it was wait, like wait, a wait, wait. I'm scared. Effects. Should I remove this? That's a real screen. That's actually a live screen. Are you sure? Yes. What? I'm freaked out. I'm legitimately <laughs> scared. Should I close this? Probably. I don't want to. What if he comes out with like a kid's head? And then what? Like, what do you do then? I'm closing it. (laughs) Yeah. I'll find out later. I'll find out later. (laughs) We were looking at it yesterday and it was just black with the countdown. He's watching. (laughs) Did he bait me? What? Because he put H3 in the title. Did he bait me into putting that? Like, he expected my reaction to to show this on the well, podcast live. <laughs> well, if he was doing that, why would he just move behind the screen? Yeah, this is weird. <laughs> why wouldn't he come out and say, Ethan, I hate you. Why would he because play these he's cryptic gonna kill me. He's going to kill us both on December 1st. <laughs> oh, me? Not you, me and oh, Ela. Okay. <laughs> you guys can borrow a gun if you want one. I have legitimately thought about buying yeah. a weapon for you home should. security. You should. You okay, should. okay. Yeah. What's the best gun for home security? Shotgun. That's what I've heard. I'm going to get a shot. He put it under my bed. Yeah. <laughs> That's what my uncle says. He's well, what, what day is it? It's you, Friday. You Friday. Got, Friday. You got a little little over, a little over, less than a week or two weeks before December 1st. Takes 10 days to get one in California. I do. Well, so you should I, I have a felony in my past. Is that a problem? Uh, I don't think so. These days, <laughs> what is it, meme, meme lord? <laughs> meme. Well, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not allowed near to near schools. <laughs> oh my um, god! Just kidding. Careful, people um, are gonna take no, it seriously. No, you're good. You don't have like a medical marijuana card, do you? No. Which is a stupid rule, anyways. Wait, you can't buy if you have. Nope. In California. That's weird. They're like California can... has the worst laws. Mm. That's so strange. So, like, if you've been dis- like this guy that happened recently, I don't. Was that in California? The guy who was dishonorably discharged for like, yeah, he was in California. Yeah. So he. Can I don't buy- know if it was in California, but he. W- I heard about this guy. He's like, yeah, you can buy a gun, but if you ever smoked weed in your life, we don't trust you. Crazy. All right, let's take a break. I need to get some fresh air. After I'm, I'm this. No, I'm this sh- is, I had chills yeah, whenever I'm that screen. <laughs> when- we were just. He's watching. Oh my god, that's he's even watching. more creepy. Patrice. I'm sorry, dude. I it was all in good fun. I wish you the best. I think you're a talented guy. I although I've made fun of you in the past, you know, I think you're a really talented filmmaker and please don't murder me. And whatever you have behind that curtain, maybe it's better that you just keep that to yourself. <laughs> now I feel like I'm in on this. You're dead. He's coming after all of us, though. So. Come for me. He's gonna put H3. This is a okay, challenge. You if you're Patrice. watching, <laughs> confirm. Change the title to H3H3 dash H3 H3 Post Malone also. Oh, my God. No, don't do that. <laughs> do that. Patrice, I'll... I've never said a bad <laughs> thing about you in my life. Okay, <laughs> then we're gonna check back after the break and see if he updated that. Until then, guys, a quick word from our sponsors, um, and we will be right back. Thank you. Thank you to MVMT. Oh, my God. Uh, look at this beautiful watch. Uh, you, look, you look so oh elegant. Oh, my God. That actually looks so good on you. Thank you. Pulling it off. MVMT Watches, pronounced movement, was founded on the belief that style shouldn't break the bank. 
The watchmaker's goal is to change the way consumers think about fashion by offering a high-quality minimalist product at a revolutionary price, changing the world without chopping off heads. Nice. Or may- maybe a couple heads can roll, but with quality and price at this, you know, it's, f- it's worth the cost. you got to ca- crack a couple eggs. With over a million watches sold to customers in 160-plus countries around the world, I wonder why they do the plus and not just say specific. It's probably 161. What with 161 countries around the world, Movement Watches has solidified itself as the world's fastest growing watch company. Guys, listen up. We get the holiday shopping can be tough, but thanks to Movement, all the gift giving anxiety can disappear with the press of a button. These watches make the perfect purchase for just about anyone in your life, guy or girl. And remember, they only start. At $95, which for this uh, quality of a watch, get real. <laughs> these usually cost $500 plus dollars where you're usually shopping. These guys, they have the hookup because they cut out the middleman. Let me tell you. Get 15% off today with free shipping and free returns by going to MVMT, MVMT.com slash H3. Now's the time to step up your watch game, guys. Go to nvmt.com slash h3. This watch has a really clean design that makes a great fashion statement, my friends. Join the movement. I love my NVMT watch. That's a movement. Thank you so much to them for sponsoring us. A great gift for any guy or girl. And next up, we have Quip, the vibrating tube with bristles attached that we all know and love. Is that okay? Yeah. It's a t- I, listen, I'm obsessed with oral hygiene. Quip makes the best, best toothbrush. Can I lay it out any easier for you guys? It's a vibrating toothbrush. It times how long you need to brush your teeth. It's incredibly affordable, and it's incredibly good. I'm obsessed with bristle softness, and, and, and some, it's either it's too soft or it's too hard. They managed to find that perfect medium, and I'll tell you what. They don't even use, like, traditional bristles. It's, like, soft uh, rubbery, uh, it's, it's interesting and it works better than anything I've used. I'm a quip guy. All right. I'm, I'm pissed off, dude. <laughs> Quip's an incredible product. Now, listen, I challenge you to give me a gift that's affordable and practical and Instagram worthy. <laughs> Tone it down, you guys. <laughs> I love it, but I don't know if it's Instagram worthy. On top of that list is Quip, the electric toothbrush that was, looks like it was designed by Apple without the high price. Let me show you. Yeah. I'm telling you, dude, this thing is, it's, do you hear that? That's the pleasure and joy that comes out of this tube. You put it in your mouth, you just let it take you away. And then all of a sudden you come away, you're clean, you're happy, you're like, oh my God. You ever, you ever rub your teeth like that and it squeaks? Squeaky clean. That's what Quip stands for. Whew. Now listen up. It's just in time for the holidays. Quip is the ideal size and price to gift anyone on your list. You can even include an automatic brush head delivered for a year to ensure your gift keeps giving until the next holiday. That would be thoughtful of you, wouldn't it? The Quip electric toothbrush is featured in just about every gift guide this year, including Oprah's Oh list, (laughs) Men's Health, which I was recently featured on the cover of, (laughs) and Hilo too, and GQ. That stands for gentleman quality. I got nothing. But the gentlemen use this toothbrush. So, you know. Quip is backed by a network of over 10,000 dental professionals, including dentists, hygienists, and dental students. Well, you don't, you've already got the endorsement of the dentist. You don't need dental students' endorsements. <laughs> like, they're, they're, you got my endorsement. Forget the students. I take care of my teeth, and that's why I use Quip. So listen up. Quip starts at just 25 bucks. That is a great price for a toothbrush this good, okay? Right now, when you go to getquip.com slash H3, get your first refill pack free with a Quip electric toothbrush. That's your first refill pack free at Quip. Getquip.com slash H3. That's G E T Q U I P dot com slash H3. Thank you to Get Quip for making an incredible product that makes my mouth squeak and vibrate. 
Welcome back, everybody. Still here with Post Malone and still oh, yeah. creeped the F out. Yeah. Still alive. Yeah, I'm still, I'm still like, yeah, for like 12 more days. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, we, the timer runs out at 12 o'clock a.m. on December 1st. So I'm not going to put that back on the screen because I'm frankly, I'm terrified of what may actually pop up. But Dan in backstage has mm-hmm. it open. So if anything weird happens, we will update you guys. <laughs> I just hope it's a diss track. We were saying before it might be a diss I'd track. love that. I'd actually that I'd great. have a lot of fun with that. But the fact that he took down all his videos. That's pretty extreme. Pretty dramatic. <laughs> but it's been so long. It's like, dude, the window is gone, kind of. Right. <laughs> but not, maybe not. Maybe that's just how long it takes to build like a uh, nail bomb. He's been working on it <laughs> all the time. He's, he's got like... And now <laughs> he's got this crazy diss track, and then the footage is all like hidden camera footage peeking in our window at our house. And shit. Oh my god, <laughs> just like the 50 Cent thing. What was that? Uh, I guess 50 Cent went and checked up on someone, I don't remember who it was, but their mom at work, <laughs> she was like napping, and he was in there. <laughs> yeah, what? It's just crazy. <laughs> okay, it's a video, it's crazy. I don't yeah. remember who it was though. I don't want to, I'm freaked out. I don't know. So every time you've heard a little weird noise at night in our house, Don't it was actually... Don't say that. <laughs> do you guys hear weird noises? No. Well, I will now. <laughs> no, we do. You know, like... Nothing on... Like what? Nothing, not weird, no. like... Do not get in my head, <laughs> Like what? I'm not talking about Patrice. I'm talking about maybe a little... No, it's just like a little crack, you oh, know? Okay. You know how settles yeah. when the temperature goes down or yeah. rises. Yeah. So, Natural. nature. But we have another mystery to work through today <laughs> that maybe you can help us with. Eli, you want to explain that one? Okay, so today we came here to the office, uh-huh. and at the table over there, it was empty except for this paper. And no Fold one knows up. No one knows where it came from. Fold it up, brand new. A memo from 2012. About Mathnasium? <laughs> yeah, Mathnasium. Isn't Mathnasium like a math website? It's a yeah. yeah, it's a chain. They have brick and mortar stores. Folded up neatly on our table. The only person here was Dan. And he you know, he says it wasn't him. <coughs> well, that's a weird thing to have. I, exactly. <laughs> right? It says effective. From two thousand twelve. Two thousand twelve. All employees, uh bereavement pay is calculated based on the ba- they're talking about bereavement pay. And then they're talking about jury doo Duty. <laughs> Jury duty. So th- what is the letter about? It's a memo. All employees who wish to take off due to the death of an immediate family member should notify their superiors immediately. How many how many people are dropping dead in the family here at G- Yeah, what the hell? That's crazy. When has that ever merited a memo? That's is this crazy. related? Is That's it crazy. related? <laughs> why why is that there? I don't know and I have no idea why. And it was like it's from 2012. Yeah. The paper was like Five brand new. Like just like, you know, one fold like that. Wasn't on like, our desk. Wasn't wrinkled. What desk? Right outside that okay. table, that coffee table. So who wh- is it related to the stream? Well, no, jokes aside, like I'm I legitimately don't understand how this got there. And he doesn't know. No. No. <laughs> I did tell him if there was an investigation, Dan would be the first guy. Yeah, he would be the suspect for sure. <laughs> Who? Dan. Because Dan. Okay. he comes okay. here. I don't know that he Dan, does. is it you? <laughs> he took. Dan? He took. Dan's kind of taken a long time to respond. Yeah, that yeah. was a long time. Nope, nope, no, not me. Why did it take so long? Any yeah. updates on uh, the Wilsonator? <laughs> I've been keeping an eye on it. I think the curtain is actually a loop. Mm. Weird. Uh, one thing that I noticed. That's though, even weirder. <laughs> yeah. So, in the uh, in the description of that video, there's a bunch of links, and I clicked on one of them, and a post video came up. No, 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 no. You're kidding. Yeah. No, I'm not. What? It's not the top result, but like you click on this link. Dude, you're fucked. You're in this with us, and that <laughs> and shit's like, been there. Down. I don't think he changed. That, okay, I'm gonna he? come out and look at it real quick. <laughs> well, I'll put it. I'll pull it up. I don't want. I want to look at it. I don't want it to be stuck there. <laughs> okay, so Austin's gonna come check that out. And we'll report. It. Talk uh, when you're out there, Austin. Yeah. Talk into the mics. Ex- okay. uh, describe your situation. Damn, give him the mic so he, everyone can follow <laughs> along with his amazement. So describe what you're seeing out there, uh, Austin. Give him the mic, Dan. People in the chat 
or at least okay. one person is saying it's not a loop. Oh, okay, we're pretty far down. Oh, yeah, how about that? But it also comes up with Minecraft Adventure Time. <laughs> but that's weird. It's still weird, right? Yeah. People in the chat are saying it's not a loop, by the way. Oh, no. <laughs> you're on his, you're on okay. his fucking hit list. Okay, well. <laughs> you're an associate. Just lock ourselves you're an accomplice. <laughs> Get some shotguns. <laughs> lock the door. I told, I told Eli, I'm like, let's be gone on December 1st. Let's be out of town on December 1st. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to be at, at any location that I regularly. Let's all be gone. Yeah. And not say. <coughs> oh, I'm not scared of him. <laughs> it's like that scene from Lord of the Rings. Are you scared? I'm just scared. <laughs> not nearly enough. <laughs> what is that? Episode three? First one. Oh. Star- L- Lord of the Rings. Yikes. Fellowship of the Ring. Yeah, Fellowship. All right, let's move on. <laughs> so here. Um, have you heard of Boston Dynamics? No. So these guys make AI robots. Well, not ro- AI, but they make these incredible robots. Okay. They were bought recently by Google. Okay. Watch this. This is a new video of theirs. Look at this thing. These are going to kill us all someday in the f- near future. Damn. I mean, I can do that. Watch this. Hold on. Could he do? Hey, God. Oh. Dude, he's got so much spring. Here. I'm very surprised. Whoa! Oh. Stuck the land. What do you think about that? Why does he need to do a backflip? Why does he need to be able to do a backflip? <laughs> Someday, these, these like, Jackie Chan-ass robots are going to be dodging bullets. Why does he need to? That's the whole thing, though. Why does he need to be able to do a backflip? So actually, what they're doing is they're building these super. Isn't it for like army? Yeah, yeah, it's for military use. It's or, awful. Or for like transporting goods. They're physical uh, gymnastic robots. They're gonna they're gonna compete in the Olympics next year. Really? Yeah, they're gonna be the American team. They're I don't gonna be see completely uh, just dress it. I am a up. human. <laughs> but. Um, they're gonna weaponize the shit out of that. That's yeah. yeah, essentially. And like, here, watch this one. This is a classic. You and you want to know why? You want to know why these robots are gonna kill us someday? Let me show you what the fuck they're doing to these poor robots. Look at this shit. You think this robot's not gonna remember this? You think he's not going to remember this? We're all going to die because of this asshole with the hockey stick. Why can't he only walk that fast, though? He's, See, he can do in, flips and shit. This one's <laughs> older. This so one's he can older. only walk. No, I mean, even that other guy wasn't walking that fast. He's not the backflip robot. It's a different... Uh, that That's the T-3000. This is the T-10. Do you seriously think that this robot is not going to remember this shit? Leave him alone, man. Is he going to get up? Probably. They always get up, and they never forget. Is this being controlled, or...? No, this is all self. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. God. <laughs> it's terrifying. Do not bully this robot. Because <laughs> he does not forget. Where are you going? He's, Where are you going? He's, he's over it. Strip, he's sick of his shit. Strip club. He's sick of his shit, dude. To the robo bar. And now he's free. <laughs> yeah, he's free at last. There's so many. Um... Oh, the way he got up was crazy. One, like, watch this shit if you want to be creeped out. Wait, hold on. Why do they dress him up There's like, like a that? like a thousand videos playing now. <laughs> They're taking over. All right, hang on. How does this make you feel? That's a robot? Mm hmm. Oh. He's terrifying. <laughs> They got him right in the middle of the uncanny valley, like. Right. Just like the way that he moves. <laughs> How do you feel about this? This guy, he opens your door. He's in your hallway doing exactly this motion. Oh, God. It's terrifying <laughs> watching right here. He takes yeah. off the mask. You expect it to be a robot? It's Patrice Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Jumping jacks. What are you doing, oh. man? Oh, we've got 
We got a development on oh, Patrice. Oh, no. no, 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 no. My no, stomach no. just dropped. <laughs> what happened? I didn't want that. What happened? Tell me. It's like a live stream now of looks like a cell phone feed in a forest. <laughs> what? Yeah, you got to see this. I don't know. Should I put it? I guess I have to. Yeah. If it's like a kid's head, we'll just edit it out and post. <laughs> I'm like anxious. <laughs> All right. Just okay, I'm pulling. I'm pulling it up. <laughs> this shit's creepy, man. Patrice, Very. what are you doing? Why are you doing this? <laughs> He's got an audience now. Oh Ew. no, it is. What? Oh man. It is a cell phone feed. What are you Where doing, is Patrice? Why is it sideways? Don't you know he's a phone, you idiot? This is like from a horror movie. It is. This Why is he going to a church? Is that a church? Who's buried in that house? Dude, what are you doing? That's a church. <gasps> oh my god, it's a fucking church. Is it? No, maybe. It looks like It's got it. a like steeple. Yeah. But it looks very residential at the same yeah. time. There's a ladder in the back. It's very choppy. I don't know that we a lot of watch dirt. This. You look scared. What, Patrice, if you're listening, can you just... Can you correct that? What's going to be in the house? Dude, should we watch this or should we bounce? Watch it. <laughs> Where does he live? I have no fucking... I mean, last I, I knew he was in L.A. But this does not look like L.A. Oh, this is a house. Oh, no. I'm so terrified, dude. He's just going to cut it off. So there's a ladder. He's walking up behind a house. It's It looks very rural. It looks very country. It's very, very stuttery. There's a lot of lag because I guess he has a poor oh, connection it's not on rural. mobile. There's another house right next to it. It's But it's kind of, I mean, it's doesn't look like L.A. It's a nice house. It's a nice house, yeah. for sure. Very wooded. Are we just going to see a dick all of a sudden he's going to like put it in his pants or something? If Is he going to go in this house and murder someone? Oh, man. At what point do we close this? I mean, seriously. No. What? He's going in. We close it Austin, now. what do you think? <laughs> I don't know. You're Ghost Malone. <laughs> How much can you tolerate? I don't know. <laughs> this is um, this is real, though. Yeah. yeah or, I mean, ghosts are like one thing, but this is... What is this blue shit? There's a tarp. He walked around the back. He's in the backyard. There's a Why tarp. Is there he zoomed. Everywhere? He zoomed. He zoomed in on the garage. It's not your house. That's not my house. No. Trust God. me, I would be fucking I would be, gone. I would be dead. He's right zooming now. in slowly on some red object in the garage. I think we should close it. Why, Eli? Are you afraid of actually seeing something, or you just think this is a waste of time? I don't know. It's creepy. Why is there ladders everywhere on the house? There's literally ladders everywhere. He's climbing oh, but, up one of the ladders. But it looks like kind of... Wait, like, it looks like a home invasion thing. Because he has a ladder going up to the balcony. No, but you could have just walked up the stairs. <clears throat> right? But, yeah, I guess you're right. What? What the fuck, dude? Do I close this? I mean, yes. seriously. Oh, I saw a hand. I saw a hand. I saw Patrice's hand. It was a black hand. Yeah, I told hand. you he was going to cut it off, didn't I? It'll be back. He changed... God. Did he change the font? Okay, I'm not. I can't watch. This I saw anymore. his hand. It's definitely him because we were saying maybe it's this a hacker, but I saw he has. There, it was his hand. It was a black man's hand. <laughs> what? You know Patrice's hand? There's only one black man. And it's Patrice Wilson. <laughs> it's Patrice Wilson. I mean, it looked like. Oh my god! All right, all right. I'm gonna close this. Dan, give me. Uh, let us know if there's any updates. Oh my god! He's got an audience, so. If you're gonna do some weird shit, Patrice. Wouldn't wait for that countdown. All right, I'm closing it. You lost your chance. This is, I'm just speechless right now. I'm very I'm speechless. I'm actually spooked. Have you ever seen that? How do we move no. on past this? I think we just do Patrice watch. Let's Should just we just keep fuck for tonight? <laughs> let's let's make him angry. Let's not. <laughs> let's let's provoke him. No. <laughs> Oh my god. You can. Hey, I just want to let you know, Patrice, if you're watching, <laughs> if Ethan says anything crazy, it is not on behalf of uh, these, both of us. All of these statements the... are endorsed by Post by, Malone. By Ethan and Eli. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> me and Eli are going to be safe. He's going to spare us. This is you're all. Fucked. Austin wrote the script for the show. 
This is all endorsed by him. No, I didn't. All right, let's <laughs> let's try to move okay. past this. Yeah, let's forget yeah. that that happened. <laughs> so, did you hear about the uh, all right hard hard shift here? One eighty. Have you heard about uh, the new Star Wars game by EA? Yeah. Battle. What is it called? Battlefront Battle Two. How it's like. Apparently, they're just fucking everybody over with DLCs. What do you mean? The game costs eighty bucks. First of all, the whole the, the, it's just to buy the retail copy. The normal game. Yeah, eighty bucks. Really? <laughs> and so the normal is sixty. When I I actually am interested in playing this game, but eighty Sorry. bucks, it's like get real, okay? No problem, baby. Um, so basically, there's so much DLC in this eighty dollar game. It doesn't even include Darth Vader as a playable character. You have to either play for like a thousand plus hours to earn the credits to unlock him or pay like an additional 50 bucks to unlock him. Okay. There's 4,000 plus dollars of DLC content <laughs> to fully unlock this $80 game. People are saying really? it's 60 though in the chat. Oh, maybe I saw the collector's edition. But anyway, so everyone was complaining. Like, there was this post on Reddit. It says, seriously? Here, let me pull it up. I paid, seriously, I paid $80 to have Vader locked. And so the developers responded. And this response has entered the Internet Hall of Fame. It's the most disliked con- comment of all time. Whoa. On, on Reddit? Reddit? Minus 676,000 wow. points. Down vote. Oh they God. said... They go, the intent is to provide players with a sense of pride and an accomplishment for unlocking different heroes. Sips. Beer. (laughs) As for cost, we selected initial values based upon the data from the open beta. Someone said, I wonder if I worked at Burger, if Burger King wants to sell me a sense of pride and accomplishment by making me work 10 hours for my fucking fries. (laughs) So these, uh, and then if that's not bad enough, uh, you know Boogie, right? Yeah. So he was streaming, playing the game, enjoying okay. it like a good boy, trying to earn credits to unlock Vader or whoever else. Watch this clip. He did it in Return of the Jedi. I don't remember that part. Hank Swallow. He's having a lot of fun. More credits available in three hours. Wow, it's like an app. Uh, it's a pr- more premium credits game. credits available in three hours. We're sorry. <laughs> You were enjoying arcade mode too much, so we have to stop giving you prizes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Were you enjoying arcade mode? Because you have to wait three hours now to get more credits out of arcade mode. What the fuck? So Are this... you fucking shitting me? <laughs> what so, the fuck? So this $60 game is now being treated like a freemium mobile game. Yeah, yeah. like a shitty yeah. mobile game. Yeah. Can you believe these f- these fucking guys at EA? So this is it. I'm boycott. I actually really want to play this game. It looks really fun, but I don't know. I mean, this. Uh... I don't like it. I don't like it. Then there, I love Star Wars, but the thing that I don't like about it is you don't reload, and that's what really pisses me off. You got it. Adds a new element of strategy. Well, no, yeah, reloading is just satisfying. And also, it's lasers. Like I want, I want like ballistic. I want, right. Like... You're not. You're not to the future. You want. You want gunpowder. Boots to the ground. Yeah, boots on the ground kind of guy. <laughs> yeah. But in the future, certainly they'll have to reload. I mean, lasers, what? you got an energy yeah, pack that's what I was just saying, yeah, exactly. Reload your energy cells. <laughs> Come on, energy cells. Get with it, idiots. <laughs> that's the, ass. That's ass. So anyway, I thought that was interesting. Yeah, I, that's crazy. It is a fucking, it's like fucking uh, Clash of Clans or whatever. Yeah, it's <laughs> Clash of, $60 Clash of Clans. Um, do we have any calls? I guess not. We're having a... Having a problem with Discord, eh? Is that what's going on out there? Oh yeah, how was uh? I saw you were in Idub's contact cop. Yeah, obviously. How was that? <laughs> he's awesome. Yeah, he's it, great. That was it. Was after that night, I think. Oh, oh in Vegas. Wow. So the real <laughs> uh uh-uh, uh that was fueled by real emotions. Yeah. <laughs> and I hadn't slept. Right. Oh my god. I hadn't slept, and I because he came, he drove from here or to L.A. to here, or not mm-hmm. L.A. where he lives. Mm. Um. To, or to Vegas. Yeah. And I, I had just gone to bed, and like 10 minutes later, he calls me. He apparently has been <laughs> like knocking at my door for oh, shit. And I'm like, fuck, dude, I feel like an ass. But he's such a good guy, and his girlfriend is super sweet. That's awesome. Yeah. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Rice Gum used 
didn't he use like a rock star or something? He used one of your songs in his in his response. Yeah, to, in his res- to the content cop about him. Oh, with the with the money counter thing. Yeah, the yeah, money counter. yeah. Whatever. She get his lawyers on him. That'd be a real content cop. <laughs> I love Ethan's style. <laughs> Ethan's style. Straight to the fucking law, baby. <laughs> Did you pay me for. for that license? <laughs> um. Yeah, Jake Paul. There's a god. That guy is like so drama prone, man. <clears throat> Like, there's this new beef where the Martinez twins were these twink little yeah, Spanish okay. boys. Okay, yeah, I saw Spicy that. little twinks. Yeah. <laughs> God, I'd like to get them both together in a dark room behind a curtain. Careful. A couple ladders. It's probably, it's probably, probably their house. <laughs> a couple ladders. A couple ladders. Panda some suit. red object in a, in a garage. Um, but apparently he was, like, bullying them or some shit. He called them beaners or something. Damn. I was like, I was like, they're not even Mexican, idiot. They're Spanish. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. He hit me up recently. Jakey. Yeah, I think so. He said, "Sorry if I offended you," and I said, "Hey, man, it's all good." Over when here. did he offend you? Like when we did the when, podcast? Whenever he, I guess, when he came to my house. Oh, okay, that's nice. But it was a very. I felt like it was a very heartfelt apology, and I that's said, "All nice. good." Dude. That's good. Yeah, but that's nice. Crazy, definitely crazy shit going on. Oh yeah. That guy can't. Although his brother Logan is like superstar. Went to Dubai. You, you, I should pull. Oh, that I up. saw that. You it saw was that. crazy, <laughs> crazy. I feel weird watching those. I don't know why. Because it's all a bunch of kids, and the way he just walks up there and he's like, yeah, "I know you all <laughs> love me, dude. I know." Like he doesn't. He doesn't have any discernible talent. Like he's not singing. He's not dancing. Singing. No. Nope. What did I say? <laughs> singing. Singing. He's just. <laughs> He's not singing. He's not. <laughs> he's not dancing. No, none of those things. But he just walks out there. He's got no skill. He's just like, "Hey, I'm a guy on a stage," and everyone's just like, "Oh my god, touch my, f- stop short with me." And he just he loves it. It's weird how willing he is to accept all the pubescent love. Do you know what I mean, Eli? It's pretty weird. It's for the kids. Teen mania. Teen mania. It's a weird phenomenon. I got the sense that they bust some kids in from Dubai, if I'm being honest. Really? Yes. <laughs> to here? They, no, because he did the the world's largest fan meetup right. in Dubai. And there was like 10,000 screaming adolescents there. But the whole thing was... I feel like no kids live in Dubai. I feel like it's all, <laughs> ba- all like older ballers. Yeah, it's just ballers and slaves <laughs> from like <laughs> Philippines just, or some just shit. just ballers and like big ass bottles of vodka. <laughs> like this fucking giant thing. towers. That Those are the children. They like have, the little, they carry right. little vi- big vodka bottles in like a stroller. They have, have you in, been there? No, I want to no. go though. It seems super fun. They I'm have, scared there. They don't fuck around. They're like hardcore theocracy, you know. If you stare at a lady wrong or so show too much shoulder, they'll put you in an unmarked grave. In oh, an um, an unmarked grave. What did I say? I thought you said Audemars grave. Like, well, because it's be very baller. <laughs> Dude, they're gonna they're gonna very... ice your grave out, but you'll still be in it. <laughs> That's the problem. I don't know. I'm weird. I'm weird about Dubai because like they legitimately have slave laborers there. It's crazy. They, they bring in from Asian countries. Reportedly, they steal their passport and don't let them leave. And like building the the what's the name of that giant building? The Burj, whatever. I don't know, but is that the building that's in the clouds? Yeah, it's the tallest building in the world by far. That's fucking crazy. Mm-hmm. And so, mm-hmm. like thousands of immigrant workers died building that thing. Like fucking just hordes of people dying. There's it's literally, crazy. you know, when you think of medieval castles with like skulls and bodies at the or, bottom. Yeah, that's like what the pyramids that is. Or something yeah. like crazy. They just leave them there too. It's really weird. Leave them there. Yeah, there's just bodies at the. Oh, base in medieval there. times. No, at the at the Borge. It's crazy. Is there really no just bodies no, no, there's everywhere? Okay. No, there's not. Their I, graves are iced out as fuck, though. I'm ashamed for believing <laughs> you. <laughs> They're building like artificial islands too. It's crazy over there, man. They have like an island shaped like a palm tree. I wonder if someday they just go broke and it's like the ultimate ghost town. Just like the weirdest ghost town isn't ever. It like, isn't it the richest place? I think so. Yeah. They're killing it. Be fun. Yeah, <laughs> it would be fun to go there. I am legitimately scared though, because those guys don't have like. We get to fly Emirates too. Get a Emir- like, get yeah. like a whole room. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <on> <laughs> Hot shower. That's nice. Here, let, let's switch it up. Here, let's let's lighten it up here a bit. Let's, oh my god. Let's switch off of uh, unmarked graves and get right into the goofs. Right. And empower you to do the things that you dream. 
I promise to be your biggest advocate. And Look your at you, can see she's so concerned. I commit to sharing with you in seasons of abundance. <laughs> that sounds so. And in awful. seasons of scarcity. Sound like she, she keeps going. <laughs> And it sounded like a diarrhea from her this mouth. This can't be real. It is. <laughs> it can't be real. It was like a... <laughs> <laughs> you can see she looks over her like, fuck. I'm She's, this bitch will not ruin my day. <laughs> I love... And you can you see in her face like her mouth is watering. Like the, the minister. Oh, I hate that feeling. Do you puke <laughs> a lot? No, I don't puke a lot, but I you know have. when I'm gonna puke. Yeah. Mm. I, I puke readily. Yeah? I mean, you know, when, like... He when it's ha- pretty sensitive. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Very, I'm a sensitive guy, emotionally and physically. <laughs> but that feeling when the water starts building right. up. Yeah, oh, and you, like a Jolly Rancher. And you're yeah. like, fuck. You know what's happening. I'm going to have to throw up. I've I never was, puked. You've never puked? Yeah. In your life? Mm-hmm. Even as a baby? Well, I didn't. That she knows of? No, but. Okay, because that's like like a uh, semi pro. Have it's you seen c- that movie? <laughs> no. It's like, you've never puked in your life. Uh-huh. Yeah, doctors were amazed. It was Will Ferrell and uh, that's Woody Harrelson. It's so that's funny. what Watch he was. And, <laughs> and, and frankly, it, it, to me, it's concerning. I remember once in college, you were super drunk and you felt really sick, and I was worried about you. And I was like, dude, just puke. And she's like, I can't puke. Yeah. And so I started shoving my fingers down her throat to make her puke. We were at our friend's house, and we went in the bathroom together, <laughs> locked the door. People are like, oh, they're probably fucking. I'm shoving my fingers down her throat, trying to make her puke, and she she wouldn't puke. And my, all my time knowing you've never puked. It's concerning. Yeah, that's crazy. You probably have a lot of toxins. I don't know. And I've gotten drunk to the point of, like, blacking out. Right. But you've never puked. Never puked. You know, that's crazy. when Ela gets really drunk now, it doesn't happen that often, but like in New York, that because one time. I've, the last time I got super drunk, I blacked out and it was pretty scary. It was horrifying. In Carrier, New York, yeah, in yeah. New York, we were hanging out with John, and we were drinking this like sailor gin, like fifty percent alcohol. Yeah. So we were hitting that, and we got. We did drunk like three right. shots, and that's it. And I was all of a sudden like, yeah, done. Done. <laughs> Done. And so she's blacked out. She can't even stand. <clears throat> I carried her up three flights of stairs. I'm, I'm worried about her. I put her in the bed. And because I know she, she can't puke, mm-hmm. she's just digesting it all. And so I, I'm not sleeping. I just keep checking her <laughs> pulse and shit. Right. You ever, has that ever happened to you? <clears throat> Someone's no. so drunk and next to you in the bed and you're like, I hope, I hope you're still alive. No. Mm-mm. Okay. It's no. a unique, unique experience. I just to wake me. up to it, if anything. Yeah. But I, last time I threw up was in Iceland. Oh. And I, I woke up and I threw up all over the bed, oh. <laughs> like literally all over the bed, and it was, it was nasty. So you had puked and passed out, and then woke up. No, I I I woke up, I passed out, woke up, and then threw up. And in the oh. middle of the night, I packed it up like Santa's like sack, <laughs> and, then, and put it on That's the floor. That's what the bad then, boys get. Yeah, they for were, Christmas. <laughs> yeah, just Santa's barf. Oh. Yeah, throwing up sucks ass. I hate it. I didn't throw up once on tour. Nice. This time. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. I wanted to, but I held it. A couple of times you wanted to. Real one. All right. We've got one commercial coming up. Got Let's him. go there. And we'll get back. we got so much to talk about. Patrice, what is he up to? There's goofs, gaffs, boofs, laughs ahead. Don't go away. We will be right back. Ooh. And next we've got Try Wink. You've got to Try Wink. <laughs> That's their... That's their domain, trywink.com slash h3. Guys, let me give you a task. Pick out a wine that you're going to love. But here's a catch. It has to be one that you haven't had before. Where would you start? Well, let me give you a lead. Introducing Wink, spelled W-I-N-C. Wink makes it easy to discover great wine. Because Wink, wine experts select wines matched to your taste, personalized for you. Ship right to your door and starting at just $13 a bottle. There's nothing like coming home to a box of delicious Wink wine. Selected just for you, it's the best day of your month. That's, damn. It's a rough, rough month. Just like, shit, I cannot wait to get home and just crack open that one bottle of wine. Hopefully, I I do hope that you have other highlights of your month, but this is going to be one of them. Um... Just fill out Wink. This is my favorite part of this product. You go on their website. They have a palate profile quiz. You answer some simple questions that average your score. Your store clerk wouldn't ask or translate into a recommendation. It's questions like, how do you take your coffee? How do you feel about blueberries? 
how do you feel about your mom? <laughs> they get in your head. They don't actually have that on there, but wouldn't that be interesting? Then Wink sends wine curated to your taste. The more wine you rate, the more personalized your monthly selection. Each month there are new delicious wines, like the insanely popular Summer Water Rosé. Can you say rosé? Rosé. Can I get a way to my rosés out there? way <laughs> Thank you, Hila. <laughs> there's, no, there's no membership fee required. You can skip any month and cancel any time. Uh, shipping is complimentary. And if you don't like a bottle they send you, they'll replace it with a bottle you'll love. No questions asked. Discover great wine today. Go to trywink.com slash h3. You'll get 20 bucks off your first shipment. That's T-R-Y. W I N C dot com slash H three for twenty bucks off. Triwig dot com slash H three. Thank you so graciously for your support. God bless you. <laughs> and finally, you know them, you love them, Bethesda. They make the best games. And this one's no exception. I'm talking about Elder Scrolls Legends. It's a card game. It's an online card game. You can play against people, you can play against AI. You can play against yourself for pizza's sake. It's got it all. It's free to play. It's out on everything. Steam, Mac, iOS, Android, tablet, phones. Coming out November 30th. They've got 50 new cards and 15 plus hours of new story content coming out this month. If you're a fan of card games, you have to play Bethesda's Elder Scrolls Legends. Okay, Go make a Bethesda.net account and it works across all devices. Even if you disconnect, you can pick it up. And play on another device. I love that. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm on my computer. Oh, God. A meteor hit my house and blew up my computer. Oh, f- I'm at Grandma's house, and now I'm on my phone. I don't care about anything else that was in my house. Only my Bethesda account, <laughs> which lives eternally in the cloud, in the singularity cloud. All of our personalities will be uploaded there someday, and I won't ever have to leave my <laughs> house. High five, right, Ela? <laughs> Twitch drops. Here's a cool thing. If you're watching somebody play on Twitch... This game, and you're logged in, you can get free items by watching them stream. Oh my god, the future is now. I'm halfway up to being beamed up to the singularity in the sky. Unique features, we've got lane systems, monthly updates, frequent metagame patches, new cards every month. Please. Runes, prophecies, color attributions. Uh, Learn about yourself. Go there. And make an account at Bethesda.net, my friends. You got PvE arenas. Uh, If you like card games, give it a shot. Thank you, Bethesda Elder Scrolls Legends, for sponsoring us. Thank you to all our sponsors. If you're in the market for any of that, consider supporting our show by supporting our sponsors. Thank you so much. Let's get back right into it, shall we? Welcome back, everybody. The HD Podcast here with Post Malone and more puking memes. Uh, we were just dream. doing a play-by-play here. I we haven't really to be finished your analyzing this. And your best friend. I commit to share That's the look right there. Look at that noise. <laughs> <laughs> look at her face right here, the blonde in the back. Aww. And your best friend. I commit to sharing with you in seasons of abundance. <laughs> That's crazy. I love how she doesn't miss a beat. Yeah. She's like, I will, girl, I will not. My, my perfect day. <laughs> I just want to see the aftermath. Did the husband look 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 over? Go back. Let's see if the husband. He's just locked in here. Let's do a slow locked mo- in her eyes. You know what? Let's do a, a play by play here. Let's let's kick it off to a quarter speed, and let's do a really slow motion here. There's a lot going on to break down. Uh, the girl on the right, she's feeling it. She's hoping yeah. in her mind. She's like, she's like, please, not, not now, no, not like this. <laughs> Not like this. I love you, Becky, but I have to puke right now. Out of any time, it could be. Here it hap- it's happening. Oh my uh... god! Oh, man. nice little projectile. And then on the left, I love her. <gasps> Look at the bride. She just looked at it for a second. The bride is like, "Bitch, not today. <laughs> not today." <laughs> That's and crazy. I admire her ability to just swing back though and be like, "Yeah." It took her like two, one second, and now she's like, nope, my vows must continue. <laughs> Love will overcome. Instantly. Yeah. She was still looking at it, saying the vows. 
Love will overcome this. Yeah. Mama. Our, our love is stronger than one puke. W- <laughs> way stronger than one singular puke. They'll be. They'll have a happy. Marriage. That's crazy. So then, in the spirit of more, pu- I have another puking video. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I got these all lined up for you, buddy. So this one, let's start normal speed and we'll we'll slow it down. Oh my god, it's so bad. Timo Helman, that to. Kauheasti ollut politiikassa vielä luottamustehtävissä. This is like my biggest fear. Look at this guy, dude. He's so <laughs> fucked already. <laughs> kauheasti ollut politiikassa vielä luottamustehtävissä. Mutta Look at that face. He knows he's fucked. <laughs> he's like, shit. <laughs> oh my god, what did you do last night, you fucking weirdo? I can't watch this one. Miksi siinä kun täällä sitten useampia provinsseja sisällä? Suomi ei ole provinssi, vaan minä tämänhetkiset tota noin tee. Ähm... <laughs> you know what's happening, dog. It's all downhill he's, from here. He's trying to play it cool. <laughs> he's looking down in the corner of his eyes and shit. What looks the best is there's a countdown on the back. They're kind of so, right. So, like, this could have been the end of the interview. <laughs> he almost made it. <laughs> he almost made it. Well, let's see. Oh, oh 14, 13, 12, 1. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> Oh. oh, I feel like I'm gonna puke. Oh, Aiden! Oh. 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 No! 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 I feel nauseous. I swear to God, I feel nauseous. No, I can't watch that. The one. guy. So this guy is. Kind, this isn't his first rodeo. <sighs> he puked like huge, like a lot, in his mouth, and then he swallowed it back down. From whence you came, demon. You're right. He, he almost made it. <laughs> he almost made it. Wait a fucking second. You know he was probably fighting off for that whole. I want to see how that woman reacted. <laughs> Let's go slow mo. I feel like with no. this episode of ridiculousness or something. Let's go down to quarter speed. <laughs> the little knob. The knob they have. Yeah, the, the, like the scrubber. So here we go. He knows it's happening. The countdown. Oh man, nine. Life flash before your eyes. You remember couldn't have you gone were... eight more seconds. Eight. You remember when you were a kid, you peeped once at a bar mitzvah, everyone laughed at you. Seven. You're still here. I can't believe it's happening again. Six. Not like this. Oh my. I'm not looking. No hesitation. <laughs> Looks he's up to ma- her. He's a machine. He's a machine. He had five more seconds ago. Not only did he puke and swallow it, he immediately finished his answer. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, what? What? <laughs> nothing. I coughed. What did you? Nothing happened. <laughs> nothing to see here, folks. I got to see her face. Does it show it? I hope so. I don't think so. See, like, it's these don't give enough backstory. Yeah. They were not anticipating. <laughs> The puke swallows. Oh, they just they just sign off. Man throws up in his mouth on live TV. <laughs> I like that one a lot. That's a good one. That's a really good one. I don't think that I could ever swallow my own puke. I, I <laughs> I've done it a little bit. In, a, in an attempt like, to like, hold it like, back. No, like a burp. Oh yeah, like a yeah. burp and a little. Yeah. And then yeah. you're just like fuck. Okay, I'm out in public. Yes. I'm not gonna fucking. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then drink a soda, but immediately. Yeah, I've been there, and that we know how bad it is. Right. But imagine a full blown puke. <laughs> you can see him. <laughs> His mouth got full. full. Got, you know what? Got it. Full. What's better, swallowing it or spitting it out on the stage? Spitting it out. Probably. There's more dignity somehow <laughs> yeah. in that. As long as you don't get a full load in your mouth. <laughs> I was going to say, I hope God gives me the strength to swallow my own puke when the moment comes. <laughs> right. But the I'm not sure that's arrives. better. I don't need God's strength. Well, shit, this is like, um, I mean, quick reaction time on him. <laughs> somewhere somewhere, I wish the minister had that willpower. Mm, to swallow it down. <laughs> to swallow it, because, you know, she stole the show, kind of. That was a more appropriate time to swallow your puke. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, and... <laughs> I wish you had more puking videos. That's all I got. In front of God. You just threw up in front of God. God's like, dude, <laughs> on my doorstep. The threshold. When she dies and she's at the pearly gates, Paul's going to be like, you think I didn't fucking see that shit? We didn't allow pukers up here. <laughs> no pukers. You kind of wonder why, though. Why did they both throw up? What's the reason? <laughs> 
I don't know if it was nerves or a rough night the night before. I think I for him it was nerd nerves. Nerds. Nerd. <laughs> nerd. <laughs> but for her it was a rough night. Yeah. That makes There's sense. a difference. Yeah. His just kind of came up. Hers, you could see the watery like mouth. Bachelorette which is, night. Yeah. She probably went. <laughs> Could you imagine bringing your your minister to? Uh, you know what? <laughs> that explains Sorry. the bride's reaction in a way because she was partying with her the night before, and she's like, "Becky, don't <laughs> you think you need you, to lay right. off?" Right. Yeah, I told no, you I don't can drink. Do whatever I want. Fuck you, bitch. You're getting married, and I'm single. Yeah, I'm never gonna get married. <laughs> Nobody loves me. <laughs> Becky, you're gonna find a nice guy. Next day, pukes. Guess what? Now she's not getting fun anymore. Never. Now that that video's out, I was wondering what it's like to be one of these people in these videos. Just like, do you think people you hanger, recognize? Hanger, oh, you mean like that's your only claim to fame? Right. That'd be, hmm. That's Not really, but I mean, think about like the dating life for them. Like, by the way, getting into this relationship, I want you to know that there's a video of me throwing up it's as like, I minister at <laughs> fucking wedding. It says if you did porn, <laughs> but funny. it's right. a little something <laughs> right. else. You do kind of need to give a disclaimer. It's like yeah. a big thing. Huh. You find someone's like, dude, I <laughs> found a picture of your girlfriend. <laughs> I'm like, fuck, fuck. What? Like, what? Is she doing porn? Like, no, she's throwing up. You betrayed my trust by not telling me about that video. <laughs> Should have disclosed it. I'm so glad I'm not single. Got to worry about your prospective girlfriend being in a puke videos right. and shit. <laughs> it's too much stress, man. Never let me know. let me let me okay. ask you this, okay. this is a real tone change. Okay. But I you you were close friends with Lil Peep? Yeah. Yeah. That was sad, man. Yeah. That was fucked up. I I met him in in London and he's such a fucking good dude and he was really <laughs> he was really like such a good guy. Such a talented fucking dude, and he was gonna fucking change music for fucking ever, and it sucks, dude. It sucks. I saw that yeah. video of him, like his last video of him with the Xanax. Well, his friend was recording it. Did you see that? I, was, I didn't want to watch it. It sucks, dude. It's fucking sad, dude. His friend was recording that, huh? It sucks. It's fucking trash, dude. It's where people were saying that he committed suicide, but I didn't see that at all. Mm -hmm. He just seemed like he took too many Xanax. Mm -hmm. No, no, it was cut with something. It was laced with something with fentanyl. And the girl who gave it to him is in custody, I guess. Whoa. Really? Yeah. What? So. So there was, Whoa. like, foul play? I don't know. But, I mean, shit, anybody can go and buy a pill press. Yeah. Whoa. 25 bucks. I didn't know that. Crazy. It's fucked. It's fucked. I fucking love that kid, man. Sucks ass. Rip, rip yeah. little peep. For real, for it's just fucking ever, long. man. That's crazy. Yeah, he sucks. had a cool thing, man. Like, uh, rip little peep. He was the well, fucking shit. <laughs> I mean, I think in a way it's important that people realize how dangerous that shit is. Well, here's the whole, here's my whole issue. And I think it's fucked up that he, he literally had just, Past and all, all the people on the internet on Twitter and shit were like, "Here, kids, this is an example. Stop fucking glorifying drugs and fucking mm -hmm. right. hip hop and shit." But it's not like anybody asked to to a get hooked on shit and right. you know b have you know issues within yourself that something makes you feel better and you can't help it. Mm. So this dude just fucking died, and everybody takes it as a as a uh, a prime opportunity to to shame people who may have issues with drugs mm. instead of supporting them, like right. saying it's going to be all right, like we'll figure this out. Mm. And I think that's what the fucked up part is. That's yeah. a really good point. That's what we always talk about addiction as well, is that like it doesn't just take a drug. Right. And you can try a drug and you'll be fine. Right. You don't get addicted immediately. Right. It's you got to have right. real issues. That's true. Right. That's what yeah. like, that's people act part. like if you if you this is an extreme example, but if you shoot up heroin once, your life is ruined. And it's like, well, you don't you don't generally get addicted to drugs unless you have something underneath that you're treating, right. you're medicating yourself right. for. Right. I think that's a very it's a very wise way to think about it. I think I just think it's fun. He's going to fucking change shit. I mean, fuck. But it sucks. He's a good guy. It sucks ass. Rip. For real. Fuck it. Fucking 
Is that a thing? You pour out one. Yeah, you pour yeah. out a little beer for well, the no, dearly the table. departed. Rip. Just look out for your computers and remotes and label machines. Ian, can you come clean up this mess, please? <laughs> I'm kidding. You can leave it on the table in spirit. All right. Well, let's watch some more puke videos. Yeah, let's get back to it. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a it's a downer. It's hard to talk about this. I think. I think. But yeah. Was important, no, actually. I mean, it but sucks. Like I only knew him for a little bit, but mm, more than what like a genuine, good, real, true person that he was, his music was was gonna change like the culture of everything. Like already shifting culture in such a short like period of time that you know he was you know like kind of on I guess and mm. um, but he's just an incredible. Talented dude and good guy. I was watching videos of him on stage. He was good, man. He's like his shit fucking was dope. fantastic. Yeah, fucking fantastic, man. You know, I. S- okay, whatever. I don't want. I want to get too deep into it, but rip. Yeah, okay. I'll. Le- I'll leave with what you said. I think that was that was very wise. Because you're never gonna stop drug addiction. You, you have to treat. You have to. You have to be talk there for to the people. person. Yeah, it's, it's it's everybody's situation is different. Mm-hmm. And, you know, to say, like, why would you fucking, like, he just died. Like, a kid just died, and this is your, this is when you choose to shame people who may or may not use drugs. You know what I mean? It's just, it's fucked. People are fucked. I think people are pieces of shit. I think they they mean well in it. They're just, like. They're just stupid. They They mean well, you know. Because you don't, you don't generally think about Xanax as, like, a dangerous drug. Although I guess it is starting to be yeah, thought of that is. way. Yeah. yeah. You know, prescription shit. I don't yeah. Know. I mean, it's there's crazy. an epidemic now. Prescription drugs are fucking yeah. killing people. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. If it wasn't that, it'd be something else. People got problems. They take it. Yeah. You're right. It's all, it's all the person. I mean, like... People... Like, I had, I had a struggle, like, whenever I first came out here. And it is fucking, I didn't have any money. I didn't have nothing. And I would just fucking get weird, like do crazy shit and drink and fucking do Zans and shit. And I don't do it anymore because I realize that it's not a good path. But like if someone was there, you know, instead to fucking shame me, but, you know, be there Mm -hmm. like as a friend. And, Mm -hmm. you know, I just wish more people were like that instead of thinking like they know it all. You mm. know what I mean? It's so easy to say, oh, you shouldn't do this. This is bad. Mm. But it's not fair for you to say that because you don't know what someone's going through. Mm. You know what I mean? For mm-hmm. sure. Yeah. That's how I feel. Cool. Got any memes? <laughs> yeah, dude, I got memes for days, man. I'm a broker. Meme broker. What kind of memes? memes here, I got one on deck here. Have you heard of Elsa Gate? Mm-mm. <laughs> this kind of, like, <laughs> annoyed me a little bit. Okay. Because I've been talking about this shit for so long, how kids' channels are sick, right. depraved garbage on YouTube. Why doesn't Wall Street Journal write about that shit? I think so they are just they now. Are. Okay. But I've been ta- I've made so many videos about this over the time, and now everyone's like, yo, H3, you need to make another Elsa video. And it's like, I feel like I'm just beating a dead horse right. at this point. Um, but now the media's starting to pick up, pick up on it. And people have been, di- there's like a subreddit, Elsie Gate, and people have been digging into some fucking weird. Really? Weird shit. Like, it gets weirder? Well, it's always been weird, but let me show you some of these, like, thumbnails. <clears throat> so this is a popular kid's channel. What Look at these the thumbnails. Fuck? So here's one called Elsa and Peter Misunderstand Eating Shit. And in the thumbnail, these kids are eating shit out of the toilet. Eating shit is yeah. the name of the video. <laughs> is this monetized? Yes, probably. It was on the kids' app, I, I imagine. I mean, it has 134,000 views. Elsa's forced slavery in club strippers. What? And they're crying on a stripper pole. Half a million views from one month ago. This one, like, let me explain how the YouTube algorithm works. These videos in general, but it's specifically these kids' videos, <clears throat> do not get, like, these channels, either the videos have, like, 500 views or millions. Right. And it just depends on if the algorithm picks it up and promotes it. Because these kids sit on their tablets, and it's just scroll autoplays through videos all day. While Look they at watch. that S&M one. So this one, like, this S&M one has 6. million views in two weeks. 
That's, That's crazy. crazy. So that means most likely it was monetized, and it definitely means it was heavily promoted by YouTube. And here is a girl with a whip, a dude in a speedo being basically uh, dominated by it, like a yeah. dominatrix, yeah. and a crying girl with what? a bag of money. <laughs> what the fuck? And then to the right of it, revenge hypnosis is a. She has her on a leash and she's crawling around like it's a dog. It's just weird. It's so weird. It's just strange. It's ste- It's weird and it's sexual. Here's one where the kids are drinking piss. That kid's peeing. They're just. How yeah, do they even think of this stuff? It's so. I think. Well, the thi- so the thing. Look at this. Yeah. They're abducting this girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So on the bottom What's left. The- you have Mickey Mouse, Ooh. Mickey and Minnie Mouse. Love what the, the there's there's a girl gagged and <laughs> taped and bound, and they're ab- abducting her. Eight hundred twenty thousand views, and then to the right of it is Spider Man with a stiletto fetish, being stepped on by Elsa's stilettos. So these are all reminiscent of really dark, weird porn fetishes that yeah. are real. What the fuck? And so people are theorizing that this shit is all run. And somewhat of a front, but for actual pedophilia rings, or really? chi- chi- child sex rings, or whatever, right? And so there's some not great. There's not really really good evidence, but there's some compelling stuff that yeah, I'll show that, you. Yeah, here I'll show. I'll, this shit gets really weird, but I mean, these thumbnails is enough. This is weird because you yeah. you wouldn't make these thumbnails and put it on unless you were trying we're weird. to be sick. Yeah. This is an accident. This you know this is made by a full grown person. Yeah, of yeah. course. This is a this is a legit business. You're animating. I mean, yeah, they're hiring you're voicing. someone to animate this weird shit. That takes a lot of work. Yes. They're putting a lot of resource. These are grown these are adults making this. A- and a big operation. So let me pull up some of the so yeah, 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 yeah. Here's a comment from one of these videos. Um this shit is honestly pretty, pretty disturbing here, guys. Make the um, episode that she is all naked. We'll be banned. Yeah, so there's so okay. That that one's not that weird. Let me show you one. Will be banned. Hang on, let me it's see. Foreign, the mm-hmm. Russian. Or I think. Bat- a really? lot of the ones are are Russian. So this shit. <laughs> so somebody links a moment from the video, and it, it, at that timestamp, according to this person, I haven't clicked it. The little girl is shown touching herself between the legs, <laughs> and the comments they link to that moment. And the guy says, I'm glad someone else knows that, too. Smiley face. She does it at, too. So sweet. I could help her out with that. Oh. For sure. A tongue could do her so well. Oh what my the God. fuck? <laughs> so what? these are the... These are not kids watching this shit. These are fucking creeps. Oh, my God. This comment. And there's, there's whole genres oh with millions of views on YouTube of little girls. First of all, this is... There's nothing wrong with a kid in a bathing suit, right? But sometimes there's these channels where they're in skimpy little bathing suits and they're seems like they're making kid content. Real kids. Yeah, for kids. And it's like innocent enough. But then you see, you're like, who is actually watching this shit? I'm sure some kids are. But when you see comments like this, you're like, what the fuck well, yeah, what the is fuck? actually going on here, right? What? This is fucking crazy. There's a lot more. There's <clears throat> um. Yeah. Like, here, let me go to the... Those comments are disgusting. Let me go crazy. to the Elsa Gate subreddit. And show you the top posts there. Well, let's go down the meme hole on this one. So let me sort by top of all time here. Yeah, it's 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 super super disturbing stuff. Um. So we looked at that one. Drinking it's, beer. So this one is coded gibberish <clears throat> comments. So these guys, when you go to these videos, you'll see that. There's just a bunch of gibberish typed out, like all, half the comments are all gibberish. And the explanation you frequently hear is like, it's just kids slamming the keyboard and it's just total nonsense. Comment. So, I, yeah. I read perfect <laughs> English. Can't really write it, even though I can read it and understand like some words. I'm just going to well, hit it, comment. and then It's like a two-year-old who's just pushing buttons. That's what <clears> people okay. say, right? <laughs> and so this guy theorizes that they're codes. Um, for example, here's an example of a comment I found on one of the colors videos. When type manual into a virtual Thai keyboard emulator, Thai symbols appear instead of English letters, and you can got a sentence in Thai that is able to be translated. For mm-hmm. example, this shows up like this that go, says, I have to go to bed. Okay? That's just an example. It's crazy. So here you go down. <clears throat> uh, let's see here. 
there was one oh here it was in the comments so here this guy did this one on this comment it's just total gibberish right if you remove the garbage it says see you soon parking lot bring her hmm. what the fuck <laughs> what okay so what this guy did is he took out a bunch of the stuff See you soon in the parking lot. Bring her. Yikes. That's crazy. So, like, ugh, man. Let's see. There's all kinds of articles about it now. And then this is fair. This is one of the posts. Is, Don't let Elsa Gate become Pizza Gate. He's saying, like, let's not get carried away. Right. Because there's probably a problem here. Let's not divulge into total conspiracy theory. But, um, and then, like, look at this shit. This is all different channels. Thumbnails. They're all the same shit yeah, of this kit of same. drinking piss. So they think that there's actually one huge organization. That would make sense. It's exactly the same stuff. Look at this. Yeah, that's crazy. There's about 20 or 30 <clears throat> thumbnails here, which are all derivatives of the same same format. There's yeah. a wall, one dude's peeing in it, and yeah. the other person is drinking it on the other side. But they're technically from different channels? Yes, they're all different channels, according to this post. I mean, there is a phenomenon on YouTube where people always steal thumbnails. like once Right. But, I mean, this is weird. Look how similar it is. Yeah. Just Same wall. Two with real kids. That's weird. <clears throat> I've seen, so I'm planning, I'm actually planning a video about this, and I don't, there's videos, the Russian shit's the weirdest. There's this phenomenon, we made a video about it a while ago, where this guy had needles, and he was injecting a baby all there's a whole weird fetish it with wasn't injections. Fucking the weird guy the no. green glove guy no, no it was someone that. else okay <laughs> but <clears throat> on russian youtube you'll find videos with mi- like tens of millions of views of people role-playing with their real kids and giving them real injections and they're screaming and crying and they're strapped down and they're injecting their bare ass real kids real yes kids. real kids i just you know whether this shit's true or not, I said it on Twitter. It's like our new video got demonetized immediately. It had a little side boob on it, and I blurred it out. I painstakingly blurred every detail out, and it was immediately demonetized. They're like demonetizing all TV MA content, and meanwhile, the shit they're showing the kids is the most depraved shit I've ever seen. You gotta emphasize that it was demonetized after they reviewed it. Right. It's not. Yeah, because everyone thinks like, well, wait for them to review it. I uploaded it 24 hours ahead of time. It was demonetized. I requested a manual review, and they demonetized. Yeah, they kept still. it demonetized. So the new one. Yeah, yeah, the one that we just posted yesterday. I'll be the judge of that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you'd be the judge of that. Tell me what you think yeah. about that. Anyway, what the fuck? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go down deeper down that rabbit hole in our upcoming video. But I think you should. That's it's crazy. It's there's there. It's probably mostly just weird garbage, but there's some percentage hiding within right. the normal shit that right. is doing some weird, I think weird, so. rapey, creepy shit. If it's one organization, that's crazy. It's gotta be, I think. People are so sick. How do you fucking... Like... <laughs> it's fucking weird. How do you... What's wrong with people, man? Like, I feel like more than ever, I'm so disillusioned, like... This whole Harvey Weinstein thing. Right. Like, this guy is straight up raping people for decades. And he's just like, cool, I'm going to go to my job the next tomorrow and, and make a movie and not even, like, worry about it. And every 10 minutes, there's a new accusation oh, new of someone else. I'm getting, like, fatigue. I'm getting sex offender fatigue. It's crazy. We're in a fucking crazy place. Have you had <coughs> weird stories of things you've seen on... <coughs> I feel like I'm not high level enough. Mm-hmm. Right. Once you get to that, like, <coughs> Jay Z pool party shit. Something like that. Jay Z's probably good, but Is there's some weirdos. <laughs> oh, okay. Any Patrice updates? Uh, it went back to the curtain. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't rotate anymore? It seems like curtain and weird thing of walking around outside the house. Just mm. in the back of the house. Huh. Who's how? Ha- you should see if anybody can, like, Super sleuth that. Look in the comments. See if anyone yeah, super see, sleuth that. See, yeah, see if oh, I, do we have questions? Let's take a call. I'm going to take a call. Are we ask good? Ask them if they is know that... whose house that is. Actually, it has over an hour left. Okay, cool. 
All right, I'm going to take a call. Um, we have got on Someone the line. Someone was saying that he was showing like a shower too. I got I am the lizard king. What? On the stream. Hold on one sec. Let's touch that Patrice. after we take this call from <laughs> I am the lizard king. What okay. up, Pip? Yo, what up, boys? What up, what up, guy? What's good, baby? Bye, bye. Boy. <laughs> Yo, boy. All right. Uh, so my question is for Posty. Okay. Um, so uh, what is something you wish someone told you before you joined the music industry? Um, I don't know. I wish somebody told me how much work it was going to be. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, you know, it's uh, like my favorite thing, you know, is being in the studio and everything. And that's at that point, it doesn't even feel like a job. But, you know, whenever you're going around doing promo and like, you know, meeting and greeting, you know, everybody from different companies mm. and different everything. That's the part where it gets exhausting. It's all the other shit. Yeah. And it's just I wish somebody told me how much interviews uh, suck <laughs> because it's like, uh, you know, they ask you the same questions over and over again. I hate that. Yeah. Or, I mean, not that I experienced that, but I hate repeating myself. Right, yeah. You know, and you try to come up with a different answer every time, but at the end you of the can. story, you <laughs> can't. Yeah, you know. It's like, dude, just it'd be like, everybody, I just had this interview with this other guy. Just go watch that. We're right. good. Yeah, exactly. That's what I say. <laughs> it's out it's there. A, it's just a, a fucking show them a video. <laughs> yeah. And just not say anything and just show them a video of all my answers. Oh, my God. That's, yeah, I bet you there's so much extra shit. Yeah. It's Do a you, lot. What's to stop you from just being like, no more press, I'm just going to see I've already done that, really. Yeah. Mm -hmm. After the tour, I'm locked off. I'm here. You got to focus on your craft at some yeah, point. I have right. to finish my album. Yeah. Yeah, everyone's waiting for the beer bongs and Bentleys. I'm ready to rock. How's I'm that, how's that gonna, coming, by the way? It's going to be done. I'm going to finish it this week. Yeah. Really? Is it going to be out this week? No. <laughs> be out December. You got to do some posts oh, on December it. December 1st at midnight. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Don't fuck with me now. Buddy. <laughs> That'd be insane viral marketing. Yeah, Dude, right. <laughs> right. It was all me the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane, man. Um, here's one I got. Facebook is listening. Okay. First of all, let me preface this by saying one. As you all know, I despise Facebook. I think <laughs> they are the Antichrist, an evil company. They're run by sociopaths. Mark Zuckerberger is a sweater wearing fucking Robot. lunatic. <laughs> Look at me doing human things. <laughs> this is <laughs> right. There's that one video of him, and everyone's got VR goggles on. I think we watched it together, maybe. What is it? Oh, let me show. Yes, let me see this. I'll video. Let me pull Just... this up before Mark. But I already this video VR demo. Yeah, where is this shit? Where he's like, oh, this shit is funny. This isn't what I was looking for, but it's great. Okay, this... Zuckerberg issued an oh, my God. The voice is too What is this animation? There's this AI news channels <laughs> that just auto-generate news clips with AI voices. And it's all oh, so the demonstration he the and other so FB dumb. staffers pulled off on Tuesday. I don't the care. <laughs> all right, we're never going to find they this. They have with the Red Cross. Right. So we're going to partner up with... All right, let's, let's not okay, go Okay, just explain ball. the video. So, anyway, it doesn't matter. It's hard to explain. But okay. this, this one we're about to watch. Is and just by the title of the video, I already know that it's real because it just happened. Like What happened to you? So I ordered... I ordered this thing is listening to us all the time. Yeah. Um, but... I, I ordered a bunch of stuff from 511, and they make, like, tactical clothes. Mm. Great brand, very cool stuff. And um, I, I was talking about it, like, oh, I'm so excited to get my 511 stuff, blah, 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 around Ben, who is my assistant. And uh, it's like next day he gets an advertisement for 511. I mean, I'm trying to do it with four-wheelers. I want to buy a four-wheeler. <laughs> right. So this is... <laughs> exactly what this guy's showing in his in his shit, and Facebook is so fucking creepy. Like they know no boundaries. Like as a company, I think they're autistic. <laughs> I know the the people who run it are autistic, autistic, and they don't understand like what's not right. Like just having your phone listen to people without telling them so you can not serve right. them ads. It's just not right, and they somehow don't understand that. Let's um, see this. Watch this shit. By the way, take this with a grain of salt okay. because there there's no. Definitive right. proof in this video, but it is compelling. Okay, so it's definitely happened to me. Is my wife? It's not surprising for sure. So here, have a look. And um, 
we think Facebook is listening to us and taking keywords from our conversations and then putting in suggested ads through Facebook. Pulling fun at so Dead Bubble, I like we're that. We're going to do a test here. <laughs> nice camera. And all day. <laughs> I like that angle. Nice, uh, nice uh, I we're view, talk about POV it. Yeah, POV shit. shit. <laughs> cat it's my food. favorite genre of iPhone We don't have reviews. any cats. We never search for cats. Especially cat food. So let's find out. Alright, so all day, we are going to be talking about Good. cat food. Because I could use some cat food. Well, the cat is almost out of food, so... We might need some cat food. We should buy some cat food. I'm a little should... into, into it. The mm. wife is yeah. like role playing. They're having a lot of fun. <laughs> cat food. <laughs> we should buy some cat food. It's like, all right, shit, you really. I... This is fun. Buy... This is, oh, honey, this is kind of fun. <laughs> Jeez. And ask if they know where to get cat food. And there you have it cat food. So Not the most scientific yes, video, right. yeah. to be fair. <laughs> well, they got to do another one. Oh, by the way, this came in. Two days later? So that's I what I found interesting. Two days later. Oh, no, yeah. it doesn't happen immediately. Because it's too go. obvious. That way. I feel like I had yeah. the same thing happen to me. I, I can't remember what it was, but there was a certain item that we were, like, talking about, and then I got an ad for it, and I never typed it in. Yep. I never looked it up. I think it's the Alexa does that, too. They The Alexa, the Amazon. Did you get rid shit. of it yet? No, it's on my kitchen counter. But I'm pretty sure that bitch eavesdrops on me all she day. Is. What, we're How would have... she know if you say Alexa? <laughs> right. She's got to have a constant stream of but yeah. listening. What they don't tell you is that they the send keyword. that data back to their servers. Got to be. I mean, you know, like we're just hanging out in the living room and in the other, completely other room. And then she, she just goes, I'm sorry. I didn't get that. Really? <laughs> yeah. That ha that's happened several times. I'll keep it around, though. Very convenient. One time it was really creepy. Nice. We were just having a, a random conversation. Never said anything that sounded like Alexa. And then all of a sudden she was like, I'm sorry, I didn't understand that. She's not. I'm sorry, I, I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> Did she say sorry? She never apologizes. <laughs> she doesn't have to. She's fucking Alexa. So, um, anyway. I hate Facebook. They're they're just evil. They're awful. I want to erase Facebook straight up. I'm so over it. Here's one of the founding members of Facebook. What did he do exactly? This guy. Do you think it started? Do you think they had plans for it to be like this, or do you think it was? Well, that's a great question. Started to just be like social media. This video addresses exactly that question. Really? Okay. <laughs> this guy, Sean Parker, who was the former president of Facebook, and he quit with a guilty conscience. This guy ran Facebook. Listen to him talk about it. You know, if the, if the thought process that went into building these applications, Facebook being the first of them to really understand it, that thought process was all about how do we consume as much of your time and conscious attention as possible. And that means that we need to sort of give you a little dopamine hit every once in a while um, because someone liked or commented on a photo or a post or whatever. And that's going to get you to contribute more content. And that's <coughs> going to get you, you know, more likes and comments. I mean, it's, a, it's, a val it's a social validation feedback loop that, that it's like a, I mean, it's exactly the kind of thing that a, that a hacker like myself would come up with because you're I like that he's a self-proclaimed hacker. He, a hacker like myself. Dude, I hack. <laughs> Trust me. That dude hacks. You hack hard, bro. Exploiting a vulnerability in in human psychology, and I just I, th I think that I we just... you know we the inventors, creators, you know, and it's it's me, it's Mark, it's the you know Kevin Systrom at Instagram, it's all of these people, um, understood this, consciously, and we did it anyway. So I one had <clears throat> the guy is so masturbatory at his uh. Acknowledgement of that, right? <laughs> uh, you know, the founders, mm -hmm. me, uh, these other guys, we're brilliant, and we understood that, and we saw right. it. Yeah. I mean, on one hand, my reaction is like obviously, but on the other hand, what is he implying? 
He's saying that the Facebook feed is intentionally built to manipulate people's mood. Right. Mm-hmm. So if nobody's liked your shit in a day, they're like, I want this person to stay hooked. So they'll show your post. This is what I'm guessing from what he said. They'll keep showing your post to people that they know you care about always at the top of your feed until you get that like, that dopamine that keeps you coming back. Right. So it's not like a democratic <clears throat> it's not, yeah. process. They're, they're, fu- they're intentionally fucking with people there. Kind of creepy. I think it is creepy. You think that when you w- scroll down your feed, it's like just chronological of what people posted and when? It used to be. It's just not. It really though. did. It's really not. It's crazy. <laughs> That's when I actually liked Facebook back in the day. It was chronological and you felt like you were current. You understood right. what was happening, but now it's just a nightmare. Facebook. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's like to get you know, people hooked. Like he said, like you want you want to be validated. He said, you know, by your peers. Right. So like, if you think something is cool and you post it, and then you get a like, you're like, oh, okay, cool. Got him. We're friends. <laughs> he said later, or I saw, I read in a news report, people spend on average fifty minutes a day. On Facebook, Facebook users isn't that nuts? That's a lot. I feel like it would be more. Really? Yeah. Right. On average, I guess I don't know. Per shit, even yeah. I probably spend ten minutes a day, and I don't fuck with Facebook. Even at all. Actually, use it, my yeah. girlfriend spends a long time not on Facebook but on Twitter mm. and Instagram. A long time. <laughs> I like Twitter and Instagram. I like Twitter a lot. I love both of them for different reasons, but Twitter. Twitter, there's nothing there. There's no bullshit. It's just, it is chronological, yeah. as yeah. far as I can tell. Yeah. Right. It's just people talking. Yeah. It's just people being people. Yeah. People helping people. Great memes. It's, it's a lot just, of memes yeah. on Twitter. But it's also what's annoying about YouTube, that it's not transparent, like, yeah. uh, chronological. Or yeah. It's p- what What's really popular, it's not. It's right. all up to them. I hate that. Not I, knowing what's I think someone on. doesn't like you guys at YouTube. I mean, we've long suspected that. I think it's a lot of people there do like us. Yeah. I think the upper, upper management yeah. there hates us because mm-hmm. they see us as anti-social justice warrior reactionists. They see us as dangerous. Not. I don't think there's so much concern about us being a threat to the platform because we talk about it. I think it's a political thing. I, th- I honestly think it's an ideological thing. How are you a threat to the platform? It doesn't make any fucking sense. Well, How because we be? always talk shit about YouTube and poke holes in so? it. So? People I'm, are going to watch fucking YouTube anyways. I Smoking don't, cigarettes is bad for you. People still That's what it. I'm saying. Mm-hmm. I don't think that that's what threatens them. It's the ideology of us making fun of, like, social justice warriors. Which they need. <laughs> it's weird. I th- But I genuinely think that's what it is, that, that they hate about us. Do you agree? You I look? do. It's a shame because I'm a, I'm a very liberal leftist person. And, and I feel like on the left, this is a little political, so you don't have to get involved, but the left is like cannibalizing itself, and it's sick. Like these super far left uh, radicals, they cannibalizing their own political allies. <clears throat> you know, just because I don't think some entitled fucking Zarna should be able to harass humongous. Right. I don't know. I started noticing our channel fucked with after that whole humongous thing. We made a couple of like anti social justice warriors videos, and that's when I noticed it. Our channel getting fucked with. Right. So, <laughs> anyway, let's. <coughs> Sorry. What's up, baby? <laughs> this you're going to love. You're gonna, you are going to absolutely lose your shit at this video. This one's called Re- Reclaiming the Armrest, and this guy's a total legend. Right now. now, let me start from the beginning, because it is an important sentence here. What's up, Facebooks? What up, Facebooks? <laughs> what up, Facebook? You know we're in some fucking yeah, shit good, now, this boy. This is good stuff. <laughs> Get ready. What's up, Facebooks? I'm in a bathroom right now in an airplane, and I have a guy sitting next to me that thinks he owns the armrest. I'm going to go back, and I'm going to try to get some video of me showing that if he wants to tussle with the muscle, he's going to get it. So I'm going to bump him off, and hopefully I get it on camera. This guy's about to tussle with the muscle, oh boy. Bump him off. <laughs> oh, this is, these, this is Facebook memes. Oh, my God. You ready for this? Yeah, okay. <laughs> 
guy's a legend, man. Cro- oh, and he does CrossFit too, by the way. Why would he do it so aggressively? Hold on, you ain't <laughs> he can't help it because he's strong. He's trying to make a Facebook video, and he does CrossFit exactly. He's <laughs> 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 bad. You just tussled with the muscle, buddy. You just tussled with the muscle, my dog. That's crazy. Oh my God. <laughs> He did. He, that's. I mean, that's kind of the reaction that I would have. Because yeah, it's not anything to fight over. Like not really like, fist fight over. But yeah, what the fuck like, is wrong with you? <laughs> well, I mean, when you tussle with the muscle, yeah. you're gonna get it. Yeah, exactly. You're gonna get that. Uh, that armrest is mine. I love that video. Yeah, that's a good, fantastic video. Um, here, this one. Tussle goes, with the muscle. What up, Facebooks? I need to start all my videos with that now. What up, Facebook? <laughs> it's great. I love how Facebook is now like an individual. Like, there's a bunch of Facebooks right, out a there. Bunch of Facebooks. What up, Facebooks? <laughs> love y'all out there. Oh, you're looking at my Facebook? <laughs> oh, I love Facebooks. What is, I want to follow that guy. Yeah, he seems like a legend, a real legend. He seems like a cool dad. Right. Yeah, very cool dad. <laughs> I love cool dad memes. My I'm favorite be a cool genre. dad. Any news? For the camera, me? Yeah, are you guys. Are you pregnant? No. Me, I am closer than you. <laughs> to giving birth. I am closer than you. <laughs> I was working through that in my head as I was talking. <laughs> um, this this next video goes out to everybody who hates their job. Okay, because mm-hmm. as much as you hate your job, it could be worse. Just remember that. And that I feel bad for whoever's job this is because apparently, according to what I just said, this is as bad as it gets. Okay? Now, oh my god, that is not the full screen I wanted. Okay. Now, this video doesn't go anywhere. This is it. Imagine it's Monday, 8 30 a.m. You drag your ass out, you had a cup of coffee, you're getting paid minimum wage, probably, maybe a little bit over just to compensate for the soul crush. And you have to confront these upbeat. Singing <laughs> cocksuckers. God. And then they says to you, looks like a case of the Mondays. A little office space joke, but this there's workplaces like this. I would probably on I what do we have any background? I think I'm good. Give, Give me, me a chance. chance. <laughs> so no matter and for those reasons, I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so no matter who you are, wherever you work, it could be worse. I, that's I, crazy. That, to me, that's hell on. I just don't think songs belong in the workplace. I agree. Maybe later. Maybe later in the evening. Right. But not, not, not in the, in the morning. morning. <laughs> and you know that's Monday. I could just. I know God. that's Monday morning. God damn. There's also the Walmart. That's what I was thinking. Let me pull that up. Yeah. Let me pull up that Walmart, Walmart. chant. <laughs> this shit's gonna fuck your life up, Austin. No matter how yeah, exhausted you, you get, my, however sick of the shit you are in your life. Just imagine it's Monday morning, 8 a.m. You're in Walmart and your boss does this. Okay, let's get me You're making six fifty an hour. And he says you have to clap. You have to participate. Stomp your feet, Austin. Or you're fired. We are, we are Walmart. Yeah! <laughs> we are, we are Walmart. Hey! The guy gets into it there. There you go. It reminds me of the minute like uh, rage. What do you call that? 1984. The minute's rage or whatever. They start freaking out. That's what this is. It's a very educated joke. I just read the book. It's a great book. Yeah, it's powerful. I read it in high school because I had to, but I did. It's like Lord of the Flies. Great book. It's like one of those like that you would never plan on reading it, but it's it. it, They make you read it for a reason. Yeah. It's a good thing. Like I would never read those books, but I, looking back, I'm like, that doesn't enrich my soul. I never read that one. They made us read that, and I had no clue what the fuck school. was going yeah. on. There's like a scene where he gets a prostitute, <laughs> just talks to her. Like, well, how's that enrich me? <laughs> Isn't there some meme about like people 
There's been serial killers, two separate ones that were found with Catcher in the Rye in their back pocket. Really? Can you research that, Ian or Dan? Do some research on serial killers and Catcher in the Rye. Anyway, hmm. uh, sorry, I was just having some withdrawal. <laughs> <laughs> it just goes on. Set this year alarm clock every morning. <laughs> Make this year alarm so that you know your life could be worse. <laughs> That's my life advice. <laughs> just, you know what I really hate is when we're in school and it was the most cringy shit. It's whenever my teacher sang. And it's just like acapella. Your teachers? <laughs> yeah, like my teachers would sing like cute little songs. Really? <laughs> and I'd huh. be like, this is really, I'm cringing really <laughs> hard. Huh. Don't sing. Right, just don't just sing. Just don't <laughs> sing. <laughs> yeah, because... There's a time and place for song. Like, I don't know what they're ex- like. They're expecting if we're going to be like, wow, they're pretty good. I like that's, you now. <laughs> that's You've pretty proven cool. yourself to me. That's pretty cool. So, the guy who murdered John Lennon had Catcher in the Rye on him. Really? And there, was there more than one case of this? Was there, there was more than one, wasn't there, Dan? Yeah, uh, the guy who shot uh, or tried to kill Reagan also was apprehended with the book on him, and then allegedly Lee Harvey Oswald, according to Wikipedia, but... Really? That's, disputed, That's three. Apparently. Two presidential assassin temp- attempts. And John Lennon. Well, one successful, and then John Lennon, who's, like, even beyond presidential, right? <laughs> yeah. That's three catchers That's in the right. I don't want to read that book, because it's going to scrabble my brain. On their persons? Yes. Huh. Well, I'm fine. Well, certainly you're not the but only I one who's read it. I definitely wasn't paying attention. That's where you. Yeah, yeah see, <laughs> because <laughs> it's that it's that CIA brain scrambling. You read Catcher in the Rye, and then all of a sudden they're like, "Dog poops in a bench," and then you're like, "Must kill the president." <laughs> I have to kill you know the I mean? president. Yeah, I know. It, it's. I mean, it's not an interesting book. You would think that if they were gonna, maybe that's why they they were so enraged with the outcome of the <laughs> book. Like, they just Bob, nothing yes. fucking happened. That, I read this whole fucking book for nothing. I'm gonna kill the nothing. president <laughs> for nothing. You would think if they were gonna like do some mind scrambling tricks in a book, they would do it in like Harry Potter or something. Right? They, yeah, they wouldn't pick a, an obscure. Who wrote that book? Oh, Dan was just saying the guy. Tell me more about the author because Dan just said the guy was really weird too. Salinger, what did he do? Yeah, he jerk off in a theater or something? <laughs> no, he, he was more just uh, like a shut-in. Like he he never did interviews, um, and I, I think he he has like dozens and dozens of other novels that he wrote, and mm-hmm. thought they were all crap and refused to release them. And yeah, he's just he he just died recently, like in the last ten years or so, and. Um, and yeah, just died like completely isolated, living in the middle of nowhere in this house, gated house, would never talk to anybody, just weird guy. Okay, I mean, that's weird. How not much that weird? What's the gross? What how much did that book make and when was it released? Let's get some research guys, come on. <laughs> Put them to the test. Here, this video gave me a crack up here. Peep the shit, baby. Oh, do we have another question on deck? What do we got here? We do not. Slow day. No one cares. <laughs> well, Ian's on the, he's no, the great firewall. No, problem with uh, Discord. So everyone's like, fuck this guy, Ian. He's a tough subject, He as instructed. No, it works now, but Ian's just the great firewall. If you guys don't get on, just know that Ian, he was polite on the phone and he listened to you. But in his mind, he was like, this guy's not get, making the cut. <laughs> Hope you know that. Hi, am I on the air? <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Have you seen that video? No. They keep, they, they keep fucking with this. Wait, I watch they it. keep fucking with this news oh, station. Hi, am I on the air? Oh yeah, it's right here. Hang on. Yeah, but you hard hitting analysis. On the air. Good morning. We're doing open phones. Hi, uh, am I on the air? Yep. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> thanks. Do, do the, do the, they do the best this shit. One? Which one? <laughs> there's no, but there's one whole montage of just. Of I just... On, so let me say montage. Oh, C-SPAN prank call. Union, New Jersey. Good morning. Is this hey, it? Good morning. I'm a soldier. I'm serving in the U.S. Army. I'm over there in Germany. I'm back here in the States right now for a little while. Mm-hmm. Now, I have to say, in regards to all these people that are so anti-American, you know, in protest. You know, it's coming. He feels it, too. They're protesting all over Europe against us. You know, all I have he to say it. to them is that, you know, I'm an American, and I can suck my own cock. <laughs> 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 they keep fucking with the that same was, dude. That was artfully done. 
He strung him along. He gave him a sense of security. Is it back to back? Good morning. Uh, I'm a first. It's well. Oh, I wish it was back to back. They keep fucking with one of these. It, they, I watch this video I on repeat it. all day. It's great. Good prank calls. Hi, are, I'm uh, here. Fuck. <laughs> watch. I don't. This 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 next video gave me a real giggle. Watch this goofy fuck. I don't know why he's got. He has a, both a mic and a mushroom in his hand. I don't know how what? that would ever come to be. <laughs> but just watch as he confuses which is the mic and which is the mushroom. What the fuck? Look at this guy. He's interviewing. He's like, are you serious? <laughs> He's like, you're holding a mushroom. <laughs> Why the hell you got a mushroom in your hand, dog? What is this mushroom? <laughs> Broadcasting rule number one. Don't confuse the mic with the mushroom. I have never seen such a mushroom. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> the, guy, the guy's face. He's just like, are you fucking serious? Watch him. He's like, look at him a question. <laughs> Oh, uh, God bless him. Like it oh! He's like more quiet, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he couldn't even hear what he The said. mushroom don't pick up the sound, obviously. It's not plugged in. It's not how they work. It's just not plugged in. Yeah, man. you forgot to plug your mushroom in. <laughs> Let me get it. Ian, can you bring in some beers? God damn it. There's one here. Oh, oh, that's for you. Do you need another beer? No, I got one right here. Okay, cheers. Oh, my God. Yeah, cheers. We're good, Ian. Never mind. Cheers, boy. Cheers. Love you. Glad you're here. Cheers. Okay. Cheers. Wow, you're whack. Sorry. Yeah, you're a whack. One beer. Yeah, come on. <laughs> you don't want to drink this? Oh, we drink yours. Excuse, sorry, Ela. <laughs> Thank you. Well, if we want another one, just yell at Ian. Okay. <sighs> Tough crap. What a beer. <laughs> this I did just finish it. So bring in some more beers, Ian, goddammit. What it a beer. Ha- it has been two hours. Really? Just. It's nice. How about that? Sorry I was late. No, it's been two hours since we started. I know. Don't worry about <laughs> it. No, yeah. Shit happens. We're good. We're professionals. No, you should have seen no, our pre show, sketch. though. What? It was oh, crazy, yeah. man. What are you guys There'll doing? There'll probably be highlights on the internet. What is it? Well, what were we doing? Just I pra- praying for you to well, come. <laughs> oh, really? I was like straddling the mic and shit. Thanks. You. <laughs> You're scared that I wasn't coming? That was, I, ta- I timed you at 45 seconds. Can we... 30 seconds. I want that. <laughs> I was like, too long. I was straddling the uh, mic and shit. It was a good fest. We were looking at Ethan Bradbury's Twitter. Yes. Oh yeah. Really the, interesting. The exact same tweet every day. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's. A, we were saying, can you embrace the meme too far? Because every tweet now is just slam, slam, slam. He has oh this, really? Well, yeah. here I showed everyone before. I just know his tweets to be like, "I love you, baby. Rice. I want to be with you forever." Rice. So now it's I want to slam you. He switched it. <laughs> well, let me show you his most. The fans or the audience has seen it, but look at wait, this. go up, go up to no, the you top. See this. What, what was the Come f- slam me raw, babe. <laughs> is that a man that you want to slam raw? <laughs> Shit. Or is that a man who wants to slam you He's raw? Got piercing <laughs> eyes. Slam me raw in a dark alley, Weinstein style. Girl. Girl. Hi, Hi cutie. cutie. Hi, cutie. I like girl. You should try tweeting that and see how it goes. Girl. I'll do it right now. Girl. Let's do a social experiment. <laughs> Girl. I should say hi, cutie. What's a good one for me to tweet? tweet I should tweet, I want to slam you raw. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. Let's all do a social experiment right now. This is the part of the show where we're like, nobody's left watching. Let's just fucking make tweets. What did you tweet? Girl. So I'm going to say... Girl is better than high cutie. Girl it's is just so <laughs> cryptic and weird. Yeah, it is. It is. Maybe I'll just say girl. No, nah, I can't pull off. You're like a musician. You're a musician. They'll get it. Me saying they girl do. is weird. No, it's not. You never said girl to Ela. What was the first thing you said to Ela? Were you like girl? What did I say? What was the first thing <laughs> Come I said? Come slam to me you? raw, babe. I don't know. Actually, I was like mock away, Motek. <laughs> girl, Which means what up, sweetie? <laughs> Damn, that's sweet. <laughs> what up, sweetheart? <laughs> Back away, Motek. <laughs> did I'm you make s- that noise? Like, <laughs> oh I'm going to say, hi, cutie. <laughs> so, have we agreed that hi, cutie is good for me? No, yeah. do girl. Cause I, no, I, 
I see what he means. It's more creepy for it's me. It's better for you. <laughs> it's f- it's more interesting for you. Well, to you don't about. think hi, cutie is fucking weird, too? <laughs> but it's more, uh, let me find a good one. Hi, cutie. <laughs> hi, cutie. Come slam me raw, babe. I mean, that's a good one for me. <laughs> just say that. And maybe a picture of him. Maybe I should just, just completely steal emulate tweet. this. Just steal that tweet. <laughs> Let's see. We Let's love you, Ethan. You trying, you trying to, to slam, slam tonight? tonight? I'm, trying to slam I'm trying to slam tonight. I'm trying to slam tonight. Which one? Well, he, he did three days in a row oh, yeah. but, hey, with tonight. You down hey, for tonight? Hey, did you know I love you? When are we dating? How about who's your daddy? <laughs> Time and place. I'll I be there, babe. You a lot. Slamming. Slamming. I'm obsessed. Well, I want to tweet one, but I don't. my father was a gambling man? Oh, what the fuck? Oh. <laughs> All right, skip. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Ethan. Yeah, we need more. We need more girl memes. So, do we have any? Like, I'm trying to slam tonight. It's kind of crazy how they're all about this obscure <laughs> woman. <laughs> yeah, or That's, women. Yeah, we're trying to understand who. Maybe he doesn't know that it's like a public feed. Maybe he thinks he's DMing this right. girl. No, because <laughs> you think you'd at least mix it up, or at least look at your feed and say, "Wow, I tweet about this is repetitive. This girl so much. Yeah, <laughs> she's flattered though." He's She's getting close. Be. With every tweet, he's right. getting closer. He's getting close. It's like it's like it's like fucking unlocking Darth Vader. Yes. Sorry, you reached your max for the day. <laughs> yeah, you have to do it every day. And you got to slam every day to get there. What's my tweet? Come about? slam me raw. I'm gonna say that. Come <laughs> so slam me dirty. raw, babe. I gotta say, come slam me raw, babe. With this picture, no. But I'm, I think I want to say, come replicate slam me raw, this babe. picture. What do you think, Eli? Eli, <laughs> she knows what's up. I. Uh, Would you like it? I thought the hi cutie. Hi cutie. That was my vote. Because <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> you're a singer, and it's cooler. For a singer. You. <laughs> Why do you do that? What am I saying <laughs> wrong? Not... Singer. Singer. Why is your G singer. So what? Say singer. They weren't even singing. Sing. Singer. Say singer. <laughs> singer. So what? What singer. am I doing wrong? Singer. Singer. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck am Why I doing? Why is your G so sharp? <laughs> Singer. 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 Yeah, there you go. Singer. But say it loud. You have to Singer. Pronounce. Yeah, you see? You have to <laughs> no, pronounce no, it. Don't. Say it loud. Singer. Singer. <laughs> Singer. <laughs> Look, I drop, I drop it hard on the ER. This all sounds the same to me. Sing- really? Okay, listen to this. We're going to... Singer. Singer. Okay. Ethan goes, Singer. Okay. It's weird, Wow, right? I'm pronouncing my words. God forbid. <laughs> God forbid my mom's happy about it. <laughs> Shall we see? Pronounce your words, Ethan. Fine, mom. Singer. I'm no. going to be a singer. No, but it's just that word. It's just singer. She's like, make sure you pronounce singer. <laughs> really. Singa. <laughs> singa. Listen, I think it's super inappropriate that Watch you drop the hard ER. ER. <laughs> yeah. Singer? Singa. It's you. You have to say singa. <laughs> singer. It's totally inappropriate. Right, well, I'm, so not, I'm not going to tweet. I, just, I can't get it. I just like the sewing machine, the way you say it. You what? Know that? The, the brand Z- Zinger or Singer. But I think you say oh, it. Oh, you know. Oh, yeah, I don't know anything about brand. sewing machines. It's a machines. German brand? Yeah. So in German, it's Zinger. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, because yeah, they have like a very, it's very like ag- aggressive way to say it. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I want to kill every Jew on this planet. They say it like. <laughs> There's Z's like that. That's not what I was There's saying. Like a, <laughs> but you could say like they're probably saying I want to sew, sew every clothes. <laughs> no, that's not what they're saying. That's definitely not what they're saying. So like I would say like singer, singer, okay, singer. But the Germans go zinga, <laughs> right? Yeah. See, that's exactly what I'm saying. So they're like, man, I wish I could sew human flesh to my body <laughs> with the skin of Jews. <laughs> just talking, just laughing at the flesh. Just laughing at the flesh. But here. whatever you do, please say singa from that one. No heart, hearty ears here. It's inappropriate. People are very sensitive these days. All right, I'm not doing anything, right? I thought you were doing high cutie. I can't. I don't know that I'm a high cutie. I don't know if I can get away with that. It's just be. Why weird. are you scared? Just express yourself. You think he's scared to tweet the same tweet every day? Come slam me raw, babe. I like that one. Slam. <laughs> I can't do it. Girl. What do I tweet? <laughs> Come slam me raw, babe. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm not doing I'm pussy now. <laughs> what is the what does the chat think? It's slammed, girl. 
What am I? I can't consult with the chat. I don't trust them on anything. All right, here. Let's move it on. Let's move it on. <laughs> so this is what I call a tough crowd. So yeah, let's break this down in this episode of ridiculousness. <laughs> Kenny, man, what's your name? Asshole. Oh, you ain't shit, but. <laughs> Was this guy just really experienced? Up, quick, one What's line. What's up? All good? Battery change? 200 people are going to beat the living shit out of you. I ain't kidding. So people think this is like a... He's dealing with the hecklers in a kind-hearted way, right? It's just good fun. Just take you out of here so fast, man. It'll be like you out in the parking lot going, huh? <laughs> I know. It's LK State. I've seen your license plate. Oklahoma's okay. It's like... You know, it might not be Nirvana, man, but by God, it's okay. <laughs> Look in the crowd. Oklahoma, so you're Oklahoma, you know. But wait, Oklahoma. it gets good. Gay, Trust me. Kind of like <laughs> got a guy, he's on the stage, he's got you know, a guitar, really he's getting heckled. I don't come down to the bus station and slap the dick out of your mouth when you're working, do I? <laughs> it's insinuated. He's, also, a, he's a male prostitute. Also, also, also shredding while, while he's talking. Shredding <laughs> and... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those little riffs say a lot. Now here's when when um, the crowd <laughs> gets rough. Get the dick out of your mouth when you're working, do I? Good to see you. Here you go. Having a good time. Everyone's having a good time. <laughs> he strikes his ass with the guitar. What? <laughs> I'm sorry, man. The guy fucking came at me. What? Say, what? No, wait, wait, wait. Tough oh crowd. my god! Whoa! <laughs> I love how what? the audience was with them. He fucking axes this guy with his guitar over the head. What? You saw him. He was coming at me, folks. What do you think? Absolutely <laughs> no not. Way. I am not with you. What? Okay, show. No kidding, shows over, dumbass. That was unnecessary. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's a tough crowd. It's nice call. Some neck is cold. <laughs> What the fuck? So, how to deal with hecklers one on one? What in the oh actual world? <laughs> I want to watch that strike again because everyone's it's, it's, it's all fun and games. Yeah. It's great how quick it goes from everyone's like, oh, he's being heckled. It's so much fun. Oh yeah, he's gonna hit it. He's making a joke. Right. He's making a joke. Yeah. <laughs> Coming at me, folks. You saw I'm that. Sorry, he puts man. his pick on his the guitar. Guy fucking came at me. What do you think, folks? Nope. <laughs> you still with me? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> We're not with you anymore. Fuck. You got another wow. uh, Blad Blad finger Blad for me? A Bladberry? A Bladberry. That's what he should have been for, for Halloween. He's got this look afterwards, like he, he could kill someone right now. Oh, this guy's crazy. Yeah, it's pretty disturbing. I kind of like him, though. I'm not upset. <laughs> He's I'm a rock star. Mad. Yeah. I'm not <laughs> mad. Sorry. I'm not upset. At, yeah. Sorry. Um, But it's interesting, like, once the attack happened, you realize that the anger wasn't a joke like everyone no, thought. No, <laughs> Come was, up here, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm going to kill you. And right. like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, I'm gonna hit you with my guitar. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking does. That was a hard sweep. Like you don't see it happen, but that guitar leaves that frame very yeah, quickly. Very quickly. Very. very a lot of velocity okay. there. I mean, essentially, like hitting somebody with a guitar doesn't really hurt. I mean, it's, it's, it's maybe you don't think a, so? an electric, but not an acoustic. I mean, he hit him because the acoustic is kind of like thinner and it's well, hollow. An electric hollow. would like kill yeah. someone. An electric, That's a death you could kill somebody with. Yeah. yeah, that's a good point. If he had an electric, he would have. Yeah. I, maybe he wouldn't have though. Oh. Maybe he knew. Maybe that guy was a plant, just to get on the podcast. <laughs> this is a long bomb. Yeah, from like this, the eighties. Yeah, this is it's Patrice Lo Patrice Wilson level of planning. All right, we got a call in from Taylo. Halo, Wayo. What up, Taylo? <laughs> Don't blame me like that. You better say some shit. Can't hear you, girl. Oh, this is happening. Oh, this what is up, happening. Babes? What up, What up, babes? What's good? <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. So, obviously, my question is for Post. Oh, thank um, you. Obviously. Who would want to talk to my ass? <laughs> thank you so much. Okay. 
Anyways, my question is post. Uh, last time you were on the um, podcast, you mentioned the construction of a doomsday bunker. Yeah. Um, I'm just wondering, have there been any developments? Has construction been completed? Have you picked a spot? What's going on with um, that? Yeah, Good. I just... Great I'm, question. I'm, Thank you. I'm working, on, I'm working on a nice fortified area out of state somewhere, you know, you know, Middle of middle of America. I like that um, your accent changed when you started talking about it. You got it? a little like country twang really? to your voice. <laughs> really, little middle America. Middle of yeah. America. No, um, yeah, we're working on it. we're working on it right now. I just bought a house out there, and then we're gonna start building immediately. Do you? And think... you're invited. <laughs> That's nice. Do you think we're getting closer, or or you think I, I, like the climate? Are we more likely doomsday, or are we getting further from doomsday? I think. I wouldn't say doomsday. I would say <clears throat> government. What does that mean? You're afraid of like a hot, like a, like a, a th- off. I'm getting a little tipsy here. <laughs> Ty- tyranny. Let's yeah. Say, yeah. Yeah. I think, I uh, think. Under our current administration? I don't know. Just generally, you don't Generally, like Generally, just a feeling of like even fucking Facebook. Right. Just the way that they, this takeover. shit is listening to us all the time. Mm-hmm. Shit's getting like, creepy. Yeah, it's just weird. Well, at what point do Facebook, 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 Facebook. Facebook bots and <laughs> launch the nukes? I don't think Facebook would do it. I think I think they're a part of it. I mean, all that ga- data gathering. I mean, shit. If they'll listen to our conversations and shove ads down our throats based off of what we talked about, I think that. Data's definitely being fucking transferred and shit, and people are listening to everything that we say, and everything's on record. Mm. And I think that's fucking 1984. It yeah, is. it's creepy. It is so creepy, man. And a lot, I mean, a lot of people will tell you, well, I didn't do anything wrong, so I have nothing to worry about. Right. But that's a fallacy. Right? No, it is I mean, a fallacy, because if, if and, essentially, if you, you, no one wants to live in a fucking dictatorship or a tyrannical. Right. Zeitgeist. Well, anytime, if you become someone of importance that's a threat to whatever establishment, right. or maybe you have someone in, in power that be that th- thinks of you as an enemy right. or wants to extort you or blackmail you, right. anything you say or have done could be used against you right. in any way. I'm just keep my mouth shut. It's also creepy. You want to do handle my own and take care of my friends, you know? Stock up. Yeah, just, you know. Fortify. Be safe. Be safe from, take, make sure that I can. Uh, do what I can to make sure that I'm safe and my friends and family are safe. That's nice. But Am I still? What, what was my position in your government? Meme uh, recorder. Culture, I thought. Yeah, it was like it was like uh, you got to write down everything that happened in the old world so we can Fuck. I'm the, show I'm it the to scribe in the new world. <laughs> I'm the new world scribe. The scribe. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Re- data is going to be very messy. Our records are going to be very <laughs> just a big. The, the records from that age like were very, tome. <laughs> very shaky. Not a lot is known from that age. There's a huge, <laughs> huge black area, yeah. like from from where nothing was recorded Re- until like a week ago. Record keeping was adjusted to Ethan <laughs> was, Klein, who was, little is known about that era. <laughs> <laughs> he failed us. He failed humanity. It's okay. I think you do a good job. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Appreciate you. And Ela makes the clothes. Oh, uh, no. oh that's nice. Oh, nice. You do we the, uh... have an outfit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we all need to wear one outfit. We'll just be a matching honor. outfit. Cool. Gucci. I like that. Yeah, let's that's start, nice. let's yeah, start that's stocking cool. up on Gucci tracksuits. <laughs> See, but that's kind of culty. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. This is super cool. <laughs> Everyone's wearing Gucci tracksuits. <laughs> Gucci's like, who is this guy? He's ordered like a thousand tracksuits. This guy's crazy. <laughs> um, there's apparently a, a Patrice update. The oh. curtain is, is changed patterns. <laughs> really? Here's what I think is going on there. I think he's actually there, and these are live updates that he keeps looping. And so he knows we're talking about him, so he keeps he says they're fucking with the curtain in a heartbeat pattern. Okay. So I think he's just trying to bait us a little bit. Mm-hmm. This video tickled me. Um, <laughs> patient, uh, <laughs> patient cop gives drunk man every chance to go away. This drunk guy thinks he's MLK or some shit with the most patient cop of all time. That's okay. That's all right. Don't, don't put your hands up. Actually, you're the one what that is came your towards me. What is the address here? You don't need to yell. <laughs> what? What? 
What is the address here? <laughs> what is your address? What is the address here? It's like, man, I, I don't know. <laughs> it's just a guy. <laughs> just, I'm just, yeah. just gotta go. Yeah, I'm just chilling. So you need to tell me what the address is here. Okay. Tell me what the address, address is. is right here. 525 West Sprague. This cop's the same. It's I love this cop. 5.15 Sprague? No, there's no points <laughs> in addresses. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't Harry Potter. <laughs> Three and a fourth stop, motherfucker. <laughs> this is the... <laughs> 525 West Spring. 525 Spring. Okay. Who do you think you are? Oh my God. Just tell me that. Uh, my name is Sergeant Canberg. Sergeant. You know what the Sergeant? Sergeant? Yes. Sergeant what? Canberg. <laughs> Canberg? Yes, sir. Can this is hell on earth. <laughs> <laughs> and the background of Bum is like overdosing. <laughs> This is like, uh, this is Your like, name is what? Yeah, where are they? How dare you? <laughs> Who do you think you are? <laughs> tell me that. That's all I want to know. Just tell me I'm that. not angry. This is a, I'm just trying to get deep with you right <laughs> yeah. now. This is like a scene out of like some like post apocalyptic world. <laughs> right. Demolition this is an man. Zionist feature. Like, <laughs> yeah. Sam <laughs> Berg. Close. Can? <laughs> Can? Yes. Like C-A-K-A-N? Yes. Wrong time to be an activist, dude. Because this fool has no coordination over me. <laughs> okay. Coordination? Do, do you really think you do? Do you mind just sure. kind of stepping away from sure. me a little bit, please? Sure, man. Thank, Thank you. you. Hey, Joe. Hey. I got somebody from Detox coming to kind of talk with you a little bit, okay? You I'll kind of hang out here for a minute, all right? Oh, he's taking... Let's keep an eye on the homeless person who's actually overdosing. Okay. Oh. This is literal hell on earth. Kelly? And this drunk guy comes in harassing these poor cops. Watch this, Kelly. Oh, God. Just watch. Sir, could you step away from me, please? No, I probably won't. Okay. <laughs> could you step away from me, please? People I'm screaming in agony. Nice. You reach as far enough to me. Okay, could you step America away from me? No, I think you're far. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Okay, you're about ready to be arrested. Step uh, away I? from me, please. Uh, Kelly, Kelly, step Kelly. Step away Kelly. from me. Kelly, just watch him. All right? Watch him, Kelly. He's... Okay, hey, you hear him? His friend Kelly's like, step away, dude. Get away from the cop. <laughs> I've asked touch you to me. step away I dare you to touch me. Right. I dare you to <laughs> fucking touch to me. Be I dare you to touch me. Just touch away. me. This guy's ready to march on Washington. All right. I dare you to fucking touch me. I dare you okay. to touch me. Touch Could me. step away from me, No, please. No, I will stand right here. On the fucking sidewalk, public sidewalk, and I okay. dare you to goddamn touch me. Sir, I fucking dare you. No, you fuck you. This is crazy. What's going on here? This cup's a shit. No I appreciate this touch cup. Me. Keep your hands out touch of my me. face, please. Then touch me. Thank you. Touch me. Could you stay? All of me? this is being recorded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Touch me right now. Come on, motherfucker. I'm not going to go to jail. <laughs> His... Touch me. Stay away from me. Touch me. His friend is trying. Is actually. Touch me. Touch me right now. Now, right now, I'm dealing with this other gentleman here. You're hindering and delaying. No, I don't I'm shake hands with you. What is that? I'm not you shaking said? hands with what, you. What did you say? I'm going to ask. I'm hindering and delaying an investigation. <laughs> Are you I'm dealing with this gentleman here. I'm going to ask you to step away. Oh, good step. Yeah. Nice step. You know what? You are not a law enforcement officer. I'm going to ask you to step away. You are, you are not a, a law enforcement officer. Do you understand? Step away from me. He's challenging. Do you understand that you are not? Step away from me. No, don't touch me. Do step you away from me. Do not touch what me. What a nightmare, man. Do you understand that you are not a law enforcement investigator? Investigator. Step away from me. Man, this guy is if really you playing with like fire. If you I will fuck you up. Do you understand that? Step away from me. Do not me. fucking touch me, bitch. Step away from Don't me. Oh, me. my God. Oh, I, I, I was just kind of been shot. Look already. at him. Look at him Rest. running away now. Yeah. Pussy. I'm under arrest, bitch. Really? Wait. <laughs> okay, he's oh. running. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dumbass. Do they run him down? Sprague and Post. Sprague and post. <laughs> I want to watch this guy get arrested. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Oh, I love they wrote, Sir. they wrote this guy down. Hey, no, 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 no. Sir, have a seat. This guy, he, he's like fulfilled this nightmare scenario where the cops chase him down. Oh, yeah. And then it happened. I love how he fell. That's the best, just dessert. The cops should have been like, you know what? You, you're good now. You ain't <laughs> yeah. shit. Yeah, he, We're square. <laughs> he should have just said, okay, run as fast as you can away. <laughs> and <it's laughs> Fall again. That's a that's a just. I want to see how this plays out. Sure, have a seat on the ground. Don't touch me until I record. Have a seat on the ground. 
Have a seat on the ground. Do not touch me. Until Thank I you very me. much. Do not touch me. Get on your stomach. All right, they're recording me. Have a seat. This guy's got a stomach. fetish for being arrested. Put your arms out to the side. You're under arrest. Put your arms out to the side, sir. That's all right. You're under arrest. Hey, Kelly, you just stay on the line. <laughs> Please stay on the line. Stay on the line, Kelly. Never... And there falls a hero wow. of our day. Wow. MLK um, and others who fought valiantly for our civil rights. This guy, this guy was, um, this guy, uh, he definitely deserved to be arrested. He deserved <laughs> to be arrested a long time yes. ago. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. How fucking patient was that cop? Crazy. Well, that's all I got. It was a meme, meme hole. <laughs> yeah, we went all the way down. I mean, there's a couple yeah. things to skip through, but. Fuck them. I got one more. You want more? Yeah. <laughs> this one's pretty good. Let's do one more. All right, one more. One last one okay. for the road. You know Joel Austin? You remember that guy? Yeah. You know him. From the church. He was the guy uh, yeah. who had the mega church, and Houston was flooded. Didn't let people in. Yeah. And he's like, oh, my God. I don't want these poor people's fucking dirty shoes in my... Right. Mega church. Yeah. So there was this guy. This was on Reddit. This is a great video. They got this uh, Joel... Here, let me find it. This look-alike, he looks so much like Joel Austin. I don't know what he looks like. Oh, you don't? So let me pull up a real picture of him oh, for a reference. Here, I'll just pull up. Oh, was there actually? Joel Austin. Whoops. You're Joey. Oh, this is uh, Joe Joey Estin. Well, let's look at Joey Estin <laughs> while we're here. All right. Here, here's, jo here's, here's Joey Estin. There he is. Not who I was looking for, but now you know who that looks like. Joe Austin. Or Joel, fuck, now I'm confused. <laughs> Alright, now I'm just straight up confused. I dare you to touch me! <laughs> I dare you to touch me. So here... Okay, I know this guy. <laughs> yeah, I know this guy. Okay, so... Um, what this, a fucking douchebag. Yeah, this guy. this guy's evil. Um, so they got this lookalike. He looks so much like him. By the way, Joel Austin, he sold out the... Um, what was it called? The Forum in L.A. Wow. That we saw you wow. two there. Justin Bieber did it. This mega church pasture sold out the Forum. Yeah, that's crazy. John Mayer did it. Like, yeah. That's so crazy. this guy is as famous as the, the biggest, you know, famous people in the world. That's crazy. So this guy. He looks so much like Joel Austin. They go to the forum and he impersonates him and he wants to see how deep he can get without any tickets, without any clearance at all. So here. I'm just about to pull into uh, it's pretty Joel uncanny, Osteen's event at the yeah. uh, Resemblance. Great Western Forum in Inglewood. I would believe it if I saw him. I'm going to see if I can get free parking since I'm Joel. Let's just take the road less traveled by here. I still have to pay even though I'm the one doing it? No, you'll be good. I love you. Okay. God bless. <laughs> God bless, says you. Is God, God bless you, man. God bless you. <laughs> Gentlemen. The forum, dude. Let's go bless some people. That's like 20, 30, <laughs> thousand seats. Yeah. He looks like Matthew McConaughey. It's Joel. God bless you. It's God. Hey, Enjoy. it's God. I'll see bless you. In you. There. All right, thank you. What kind of right, God would power this fucking lunatic? <laughs> Smell that? That's God. Right, here we go. Bless you. Hi, God you? bless you. Oh, Joel how are you? How are you? Where's Joel's entrance? Uh, <laughs> Where's Joel's <laughs> entrance? <laughs> Me, Joel. Just come right off here. Thank you. God bless you. Right this way. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, sir. God bless you, miss. Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening. Doing well. God bless you, gentlemen. Happy to see you all out here purchasing the book. God bless you. We'll see you in there now. Hey, God bless you. Papa bless you. Go Strohs. Go Strohs! Go Strohs! Woo! Uh, now is there a cocktail bar or some sort of snack I can get? J.O.'s hungry. He says some Joe's hungry. J.O.'s hungry? J.O., baby. God bless you. Of course you can have a picture. How far can you get in life with a couple? God bless you. I was 6'3". Jesus was 5'5". Five five. Come on. I'm looking for a beer, but they only got sodas here. All right. God bless. Welcome. God bless. God bless. God bless you, ladies. Enjoy your meal. We'll see you in there. Does he meet Joe Holstein? <laughs> Stay tuned. No, he doesn't. He doesn't. Yeah, we should go check but out he gets very, very, right very deep we'll into this hole. It's going to be pretty nice. Meme hole. It's a good turnout, right? How are you, sir? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Thank you, sir. Love you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, we've got J.O. with us. He wants to walk down to the stage. Appreciate 
Thank you for coming out, sir. It's such a pleasure to have you here. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. Hey, God Thank bless you. you. Thank you, sir. Oh, yeah. So here's Thank walking you, right up to the out. stage, essentially, without any clearance, any tickets. Thank you all for Just being a here. camera crew and a nice, pretty face and a couple God of God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, man. God bless hey, you. forget about it. It's chilly. I'm used to that Houston weather, that humidity. You know, out here in L.A., this is winter for me. Thank you all for being here. Oh, oh this was crazy. There's new footage at the factory. No, what? <laughs> what? He's at like no. a graveyard. A what? Cemetery. No. What? He's at a fucking cemetery, dude. All right, let's pull it up. Fuck this now shit. Now it's back to the countdown. Dude, I just saw an Elis screen. He's in a cemetery. Some I saw guy gravestones. Walking. It's definitely him. I saw a black I don't know if it was and a, a black And bracelets. Hand. It was. It? Wait, here it's back. It's a black. Okay, let me pull it up. I'm Fuck not sure. Sake. It's a black man's hand. No. That's Patrice. He's got the bracelets on. He does have the bracelets <laughs> on. <laughs> Fuck. Taking a, All right, taking a, what a, a page out of Chris's notebook. <laughs> He's like, man, I've been wearing braces before that kid was born. He's being emboldened by all these viewers. He's going to fucking dig up a corpse and fuck it. All right, come on. We're watching. Don't let me down. I see you in the graveyard, you freak. You want to just sit here and wait for that to expire? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're o'clock. probably the safest here. <laughs> oh, that's a cemetery. That is Patrice in a what cemetery and a countdown with my name in the title. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Just is that a goodbye? <laughs> it's not a full <laughs> goodbye yet. I'll spend the night with you. Well, I'm worried about December 1st. That's what I'm saying. On December 1st? Yeah, I'll spend the night with Let's you. Let's do a getaway. I don't want to be in L.A. Why? Because he's here. Fuck that. Well, just Let get, him come. Let's just hole up with some shotties. Yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> we'll make a whole video about fuck it. Yeah. What's the safest room in your house? There's not. It's very vulnerable, and it makes it's me It's very concerned. vulnerable, and you can attack from anywhere. Well, he already knows that if he's planning to kill me. <laughs> Just don't go to bed. On the second, you're good. <sighs> it's only one day. Just pull all night. But for real, let's stop kidding around and 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 pl- appreciate that Patrice well, if, is strolling around a cemetery right now. You could show this to the cops, right? If you were really that scared. <laughs> I think all, this is enough. Yeah. It's all That's here. This is like good threatening. Point. That's a really good point. Okay, oh. here he is. It's again. Oh, no. It's a loop of him just strolling around a cemetery. He keeps getting new footage and splicing it into the right. live stream. So we've seen... So wait, is this footage new? How would he be running the live stream if he were out at these places? Yeah, I don't think it's new. Well, no, that's, it's got to be older, right? Yeah. Because he has to be in a situation like them out there yeah. where he can actually run it. He could send it... Patrice, can you please give me a fucking break? <laughs> it's definitely Patrice. He's, it's a black man's hand with bracelets. I recognize that wrist and bracelets anywhere. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I've seen it in my nightmares so many times. <laughs> I don't know. Patrice, I'm, I'm so sorry. This weird. Dude. Never meant... This is the repeating? This is new. It's a continuation. Yeah, this is a continuation. It's not repeating. It's not repeating. Did we just lock in and watch this? <laughs> I gotta pee. I have to pee too. <laughs> kind of scared to go pee. This is a continuation. This is so weird. Oh my god. Oh god, I have to pee so bad, but... What happened at the house? Uh, nothing, apparently. Nothing. He's just got ladders everywhere. Two ladders. And something red in the garage. Oh. Blank it's screen. All, it's all black. Apparently he said something. He did? No fucking way. What did he say? I don't know. What are they saying in the chat? What are they saying? I don't know. I just saw someone say he was saying something. He's speaking to us. There's another stream they're saying. Hold on, let me see. There's another stream? Another stream? Yeah. Hold on. Creepy fuck. Creepy fuck. Well, I only see one now, but I guess there was two at one point. I'm going to call the police, Patrice, if you keep this shit up. I'm going to straight up call the police, dude. <laughs> Look at that guy. Stop, you fucking creepy seeker. Ethan <laughs> is gay, somebody said. <laughs> <laughs> Just called him a creepy singer. All right, let's wrap this up. <laughs>
Patrice, I'm done giving your creepy ass yeah, attention. Yeah, we're done with you, Patrice. Get real. <laughs> Come at me. We got shotties on deck. He's a big guy, though. He's jacked. He's like the most jacked dude ever. Here, let me find a pic of Patrice Wilson jacked. <laughs> Patrice Wilson jacked. That's what I'm typing. <laughs> Imagine this guy coming at you. Like, what the fuck am I going to do against that? He's also got like a... Oh, my God. Oh, it's from our subreddit. Good. The thing is, is that he looks like a nice enough guy. Yeah. Yeah, this is really weird. He does seem like a nice guy. That was the thing I that the bye bye got. He was like a sweet soul. Right. It's just really weird. But I'm still. Why, not you, why, why is that your shot? <laughs> I was just getting a full body. He's got to think here. What do you think that is? I'm just being what buff. What do you mean? He's got like a swole, like a it's fucking. A vein, what that's what mean? happens when you're buff. Yeah. yeah. Really? What do you think of that, Ela? <laughs> <laughs> that face, that like face. he looks so mischievous. But like maybe looking at that I would face be now, s- I could definitely see. I'm so helpless against him. <laughs> I'm leaving town on December first. Are you? You're not helpless. Kind of against that. No, you're not. I got a piece so bad. We have to wrap this up. Okay, nerd. <laughs> you want to keep going? I could be. Uh, uh, nah, let's let's wrap this up. Okay. We got shit. We all got shit to do. Let's do Patrice. Let's do a. I'm I'm on Patrice watch for the rest of the night. Though. <laughs> all right. Well, guys, thank you so much for uh, coming and riding with us, ride or die. Thank you, Austin, for joining us. My yeah. my favorite, absolute favorite guest. Thanks it's always a joy me. and a pleasure. I love you, buddy. I love you guys. Thanks for. Thanks uh, for coming. <laughs> Sorry, Elon. Um. Yeah. Thanks for spending your time with us. Appreciate you guys so much. Um, SoundCloud, Spotify, YouTube, you know how it goes. <laughs> Apps, iTunes, all that shit, whatever, you know. Facebooks. F- Facebooks. Oh, watch out for that new album. I'm squeezing yeah. my dick when, right hopefully now. Hopefully it'll, whenever it's done. You guys will know when it's out. I'm <laughs> squeezing my dick because I have to pee so bad. Do you ever have to pee that bad? Yeah. I I'm squeezing my dick right now. When I'm playing Call of Duty. What are you, uh, five? <laughs> yeah, what are you, five? Or something? I mean, I haven't... I, I, I haven't heard that to know, since I was, like, in kindergarten. Do you think I'm Who lying? Who was in kindergarten He's saying I'm squeezing my dick no, right now? No, but you see <laughs> Oh, okay, I was about to say. <laughs> Teacher, no. I'm squeezing my dick right now. <laughs> Yo, I really gotta go. I'm squeezing my fucking dick right now, okay? Um, <laughs> we have John Tron coming up. Um, well, the date's out. I don't remember the date. It's, like, next Wednesday. That's it. That's all we got. There she That's blows. the show. So keep an eye on Patrice, y'all. If I get murdered, yeah, obviously keep, it's him. Keep keep us both updated on <laughs> social media so we know. Um the sub yeah, keep please. This man, I don't know. I really don't know. Thank you to our Twitch Prime subs. God bless you. <laughs> right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Does he have a social media? Great question. <laughs> I think someone would have I'll, I'll look I have to be so bad I don't want it to end But it needs to end Oh no 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 Oh god I've never this had to pee this bad me. in my life this dude This me so bad What is with him Why is he getting all weird Oh look at this guy Legal Legal, legal Bound Legal, legal pound Legal round <laughs> Legal bound Patrice when was please the last post? Legal bound wow. Coming soon June 1st. Okay. Thinking of myself because I'm always on the double. You're thinking of my stress. You're thinking of my troubles. I'll show you what's stress. Dude, that's free. He's changed. Look how fucking jacked this guy is. Dude, are you kidding me? He's been pumping for some reason. Those abs will s- break me in half. <laughs> and that hairline? Forget about it. That's a dope sideburn. <laughs> that hair? That that's sideburn? Cool. Yeah, that's That's cool. like the dagger he's going to run into my heart. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, man. I right, just I... hope he doesn't think I'm on your side. No, I'm definitely not. <laughs> I don't know these guys. Ethan Hill. All right, I got to pee. I got to end this. Guys, thank you for watching. Thanks Love you all. Appreciate you. We'll see you next week. Bye. And uh, blah, blah, blah. Goodbye now.